play in Italy. I hang out in Portugal, where I can go conquer the Americas. I'm very familiar with a lot of Native American flags now. Many of which I don't know where they came from. Oh, this, 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 this. I wonder if Venice had a lot of kayak objects. Um, Onion, one day you should go to Venice and find a gondolier and call them a kayak hobbyist and see how they take it. That makes sense. Venice was one of the four coastal republics, four cities in Italy with harbors on the Mediterranean where all the goodies going to and from Asia, America, Africa stopped off sooner or later. Yeah, that's why they were rich as hell, right? But Italy was super ultra rich. That's why the Renaissance happened, right? Am I making this up? <laughs> Stand up kayaker. Yeah, go to Venice, ask a gondolier. They're notoriously not very uh, proud. Um, and go ask them how they like kayaking. I'm sure they'll love that. Uh, Venice was a huge, huge trade city and people from Venice don't think of themselves as Italians, they're Venetians. I mean, to be fair, the unification of Italy wasn't that long ago. It, like, it, it was a while ago, but like not long enough ago to have created such a national identity, I would feel. Um, unless we want to talk about World War II, but I'm not sure we want to talk about World War II. <laughs> Uh, I didn't know that coffee was banned by Islamic law, so it couldn't be consumed in public. Really? I feel like I knew that at one point. Because, because, this is very key. Because in high school in Palestine, um, a lot of like edgy teens would be like, Okay, so we can't drink alcohol or do drugs, but we can smoke tobacco and drink coffee. Like, where's the line drawn? And so we've had a lot of religion teachers like fumble over where the lines are drawn. <laughs> Um, and never got a straight answer. I'm sure everyone you ask would give you a different answer on that one. Sounds like Arabic with a lot of Italian words. Really whack. <laughs> Uh, people that form that part of the country don't think of themselves as Venetians. They think of themselves as descendants of Celtic populations instead of the Romans. They're dumb idiots who literally act like Republicans. Wild. Wild time. Um, makes me think of France and the Parisians. To be fair, who wouldn't want to distance themselves from Italians? Dang, Onion. I don't- I like how we are flawed and our society has a lot of issues to work out, but I love this country quite a lot. I only realized how much when I got my American boyfriend, funnily enough. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I'm not here to attack any sense of uh, national pride you may feel. Uh, let Onion have this, he's Finnish. <laughs> um, get, get the Onion have this. <laughs> Uh, that's what I was told by the tour guide in Venice. Ah, interesting. I mean, I would just, I would just not be surprised if Italy had a bunch of like more local identities because they were not unified until quite recently. Um. Okay. Am I? Am I? Did I miss a message? I think I did it. Cool. 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 Yeah, Jane. I, Finland's got like Nokia, Angry Birds, and beating the Russians like that one time. <laughs> I can't let him have this. Uh, one, two. Also, sorry, I'm counting so much. I am struggling in the club right now. We are also famous for our... I, what is that? Do I know what that is? Would I know what that is? Is that a thing I can say out loud without getting into trouble? Are you tricking me into saying naughty words? Why does this look so weird? I want this one. Come, come to me. Come to me. I'm struggling. Why is this so difficult? There we go. Give me this. Cone. Oh, just cone. Just straight up cone. Do 
excuse me while I pay for my sins for the one millionth time and also bonk this microphone. Just paying for my sins real quick. Do you need anything while I do that? Want me to pay for your sins too? Could be arranged. Alright, that's good. And then we come here. And we pull this one out. Excellent. Uh, people from the north east are trying to get independence from the south for ages it makes my blood boil because they're literally splitting the sacrifices of my grandfather's generation who lived through the freaking world war ii liberation from fascism i'm sorry i'll shut up the history of italy is too dicey <laughs> yeah italy's a not a clear cut there's a, very few places on this earth have a very uh, clear history and italy is de like one that people don't argue about and italy is definitely not one of those no worries, Jay. Cone translates to machine, very original, much wow. So you're famous for your cone elevators, which are machine elevators. I didn't know that. Well, alright, four things that Finland is famous for. Nokia, Angry Birds, uh, beating the Russians that one time, and their machine elevators. So... I'm sure in certain circles it's very well known. Bear B needs to go listen to a 140 minute podcast on the most recent Andor episode. I admire the dedication. Don't you worry. <laughs> Don't you worry. I'm waiting for all of Andor to come out so I can just watch it all at once. Because I do it like that. Because I have no self-control. <laughs> I'm all for a clear history of Antarctica. Less problems there. Really? That's like, I don't know if that- Would you call it a clear history of Antarctica? Don't like some countries have vague-ish claims to Antarctica that are like disputed and all. Have fun chat. Bye Leia. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, I don't know how long 140 minutes is. What is that divided by 60? It's two hours something. That is roughly when I'll be ending stream. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you around, if not today, maybe tomorrow. Not vague, the entire place is split up. Yeah, but I mean, like, does anyone actually recognize the borders on, Ant on Antarctica? I don't think they do, right? It's just kind of like a idea more than an actual thing, isn't it? One. In Antarctica, the place with the island where Norway and Denmark steal each other's flag every week? Is that Antarctica or is that the Arctic? Norway and Denmark. I have no idea. One. Two. One more. That was a funny story. I don't think I know that story. Uh, would that be Antarctica? <laughs> Maybe. One, two, three. Yes, okay. One, two. Only Australia likes to talk about its Antarctic claim. Is that true? I just thought it was like really vague claims that no one really listened to. I don't really know. I didn't think they actually matter because like it's such a hostile environment that like who cares? They keep on making stamps for it. Really? <laughs> That's actually so funny. There's an island near the North Pole. Okay, yeah, so it is the Arctic. Um, yeah, Arctic is North, Antarctic is South. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Um, where Denmark and Norway have been disputing who got there first for like two centuries, and every week one of the two claims the island, and the next week the other country takes down the flag and puts up its own. In a long-standing tradition. <laughs> Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, I'm sure whoever's stationed up there, or whoever lives up there is probably just bored as hell. <laughs> Wouldn't you want to pull down a Norwegian flag? I'm surprised, because I'm assuming this is like Greenland, because it's a Danish flag, right? I'm surprised they don't put up the Greenlandic flag. Is it Greenlandic? I think so. Greenlandic flag. Also, the Greenlandic flag is really nice. I like the Greenlandic flag a lot. I think it's a good flag. 10 out of 10, no notes. I'll show you what it looks like. Look at how good this flag is. Come, come with me. We're going online. 
Greenland flag. Look at how nice it is. Simple, recognizable, easy to draw, understandable. It's just a good flag. <laughs> no notes whatsoever about this flag. Um, yeah, it was rough because it's a trek to get to the North Pole, so it was a pain to swap. Yeah, I 100% believe that. Um, a pain to swap and also, like, it's fine. There's nothing up there. But yeah, I guess you never know with the way these things go. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Always, I've just gotta count so many times. I keep making mistakes. I've, I've scared myself. I've scarred myself emotionally from all the cross stitch mistakes I've made. We're trying to not. My boyfriend just said we should move to Pokeball Nation and become Pokemon Go pros. I don't know how much Pokemon Go they play in Greenland, but I agree with you. You guys can go become like ice type gym trainers. <laughs> how does he feel about ice type Pokemon? <laughs> uh, my only feelings towards ice type Pokemon is that the first shiny I ever caught was a Vanillite. And so I used it a lot because it was shiny. It brought me joy. So, so I feel like you could just go be, go do that. Do people, people do still play Pokemon Go, right? Like it's still quite a big community, I feel. I only know one person that plays it and she plays it quite often, but I've never really played it. So, I'm not sure if it's like still a big thing. Um, cool, cool, cool. The Southern Antarctic Islands are interesting because only penguins live there. <laughs> Just hanging out. Uh, penguins sound cool. Although every time I see a nature documentary, my favorite part of the nature documentaries, like Planet Earth or whatever, is always the things at the end where they show like the making of. I always find that so much more interesting. <laughs> um, and I always love it because the penguins always come and like really aggressively poop on the, on the cameraman's uh, tents. <laughs> oh, it's just like, <laughs> it's it's always like a territory thing. I feel that they do. My favorite part of Planet Earth is when the king, the, the penguins harass the camera crew <laughs> really aggressively. Yeah, I just realized I said cameraman. That is not the appropriate terminology. <laughs> Drinks more tea. I count right? I did. Fun fact, I can contribute to this conversation is that Antarctica Arctica came from the word Arctos, Arctos, which means bear in ancient Greek. Arctica is the land of the bears and Antarctica is land away from bears. Thanks for coming to my philosophy TED talk. Loved it. Thank you very much for the info. Don't worry, I also don't know like anything about Antarctica. What can we change the subject to? I feel like I'm supposed to know what to change subjects to, but my brain just blanks so hard. <laughs> it's time for a subject change, and then I'm just like, hmm, what do I know anything about? What is a, what is a decently interesting thing? See, the thing is, my brain just gets like occupied by some really dumb stuff, and I don't think anybody other than me finds it interesting. Over the weekend, my brain was just completely occupied by the Buck Bumble video game theme song, which is so specific. Um, there was an awful looking, I don't know if it was fun or good or anything, everyone who's played it says it's like mediocre at best. There's a really bad game from, I think it's 1998, for the PlayStation, uh, that has the most banging theme song. I enjoy it so much and if I could show you my brain over the weekend it would just be this theme song 
playing over and over again. That's all it would be. <laughs> Absolutely love the Bub Bumble theme song. I don't know why. Um, apparently UK Garage is, is the genre. I'm just super into it. I'm very, it's playing on my brain and repeat. It's not on Spotify, which I'm very sad about. <laughs> How dare they not have the theme song to an awful video game from 1998? Honestly, I'm offended. I swear I can't. I just heard one of my former prime ministers is going to call for national service for people when they finish high school, as it would help unite Australians with its government. It's a great way for people to hate him. Wait, so they're trying to do mandatory military service? That's wild. I don't know if countries really instate that anymore. That is a that is a way to lose um, popularity. Does it mean the army? Yeah, that's my question. Is it is it like mandatory service? Who is proposing? Oh god, that is a way to get people to hate the government. Not a lot of places do mandatory military service anymore. Some of them surprise me. I'm always surprised that the Austrians do mandatory military service. Like, some places aren't that surprising. Finland, not that shocked. Um, Taiwan, not that surprised, you know? It would make sense, but like, I don't know what Austria's doing. I don't know what Australia would be doing either. Thank you, Yvonne. Is it for the emus? Emus part two? Korea and Singapore, yeah. Korea makes sense. Singapore... I don't know what the hell Singapore's up to ever. <laughs> Singaporean uh, rules never make any sense to me. Korea does, doesn't it? Heard some K-pop people had to go in recently. Yeah, BTS just had, went to the military. You'll hear from them in a few years. Bye-bye, BTS. Sorry, you have to go serve. See you later. Um, it doesn't surprise me that the Austrians would still have mandatory military service. If they had the means, they would have tried to start a third war already. <laughs> Jane has some opinions about the Austrians. That's very funny. I just- I never understood the Austrian one. I'm like, okay, but like, why? Where are you going? Who do you gotta prepare for? Finland has been planning mandatory service for women too, but we have an increasing interest for women volunteers in the military i mean the only places that do mandatory for women are israel and north korea isn't it not not super against it you know like <laughs> sure why not if you're gonna have a militarized state you might as well <laughs> might as well end gender norms as you're uh, increasing your state violence uh, apparently the idea was to be across different services, so army, navy, and air force most likely, but possibly something like SES would make far more sense. What's SES? I'm not sure what that is. Obviously due to war, there is also a decrease in overall participants. Yeah, I'd believe that. Yeah, yeah, I'd believe that. Um, yeah, Taiwan does not have for women. Taiwan's rules change like every couple of years. Uh, I know my partner went and did his last year because they were proposing to up it from six months to two years. So he was like, okay, I for real should get this out of the way now. <laughs> so he went for, it wasn't six months, he went for four months. Yeah. Uh, they, they wanted to up it for two years instead of four months and it was just like, yeah, you should just get this over with. You can put it off forever if you want, but like it sounds like it might get longer and that is no fun No fun at all It sounds awful. I just always feel really bad when somebody has to go take time off from like their life their youth a Time when they should just be messing around and have to go serve in like a mandatory military uh, SES is our state emergency services so like bushfires flood, etc. Yeah, that would kind of make more sense. I mean, I'm still not sure what exactly Australia's paranoid about. Singapore and South Korea, about two years. I think that's too long to take away from people in their 20s. I completely agree. I mean, I feel like any amount is too long to take from people, but if you're gonna do it, make it like six months. Uh, but they want people to like actually be useful. <laughs> six months of service doesn't really prepare you for much, from what I understand. 
Um, so that's why I think they do like longer terms, but it still sounds awful. Finland does historically have a position where they need to defend from both sides, the Vikings on one side and the Slavic populations on the other, raiding constantly for centuries and centuries. That makes sense to me. I mean, from that point of view, the Austrians should also make sense. But, um, I mean, Finland just makes sense because they share a gigantic border with Russia. And if I shared a gigantic border with Russia, I guess I'd also instate mandatory military service. Uh, there are around 85 countries in the world that have some form of compulsory military service. Really? We fought Russians, we won, then we fought ourselves and won. <laughs> let me, let me see. If, well, there, I'm sure there's gonna be some, like, surprising ones on the list of compulsory military service. I'm not gonna read them all out because it sounds depressing as hell. <laughs> let me just, let me just see what that list is. Hmm. There we go. Alright, well, Afghanistan unclear is very fair. Um, I didn't know Argentina was one of them. That's surprising. Uh, Belarus, not really surprising. Belize? Okay. Okay. Brazil? I, oh, only 5 to 10% are actually required to serve in Brazil. <laughs> no comments on that. No comment on Brazil. Denmark? I forgot Denmark had it. Uh, the difference is that Finland was never a European power while Austria was. I guess that makes sense. Also, again, Finland borders Russia. Uh, I understand the countries have more of a threat because of the borders, but Australia has always been in the position of, huh, good luck getting into our beaches. Right? Like, that's why I'm so, kind of surprised. Egypt? I think I knew that one vaguely. Jordan does. Jordan's got it. Is Jordan on this list? No. <laughs> Iran has it. Yes, Jordan is on this list. Jordan, Iran, I knew. Israel, I, I'm very aware. I'm aggressively aware of that one. North Korea. Jesus. Do you guys know how long North Korea is? Do you guys know what the conscription age for North Korea is? So North Korea is 10 years for males and 5 years for females starting at age 17, which is wild absolutely insane uh yeah not a lot of these are surprising south sudan yeah no not super surprised uh tunisia turkey yeah all of those not surprised at all okay there we go uh yep makes sense yeah it's that's awful it's really really awful North Korea doesn't have it bad enough. Uh, that's how you have an army, all forced to be. Exactly. Ten years to fight them. Well, it just... I don't even know how to comment on that. That's just awful in every way. Poor North Korea. I hope in my lifetime we get to see the North Koreans. I'm not sure what the proper word to use is. Freed from dictatorship? Korea be firing rockets over Japan as of late. I know, Taiwan freaked out. Taiwan was like, oh no. And I was like, Taiwan, listen, you've got bigger problems. <laughs> Taiwan, I get it, but like Taiwan, if you're gonna start focusing on your foreign policy, I feel like you may have some bigger issues to focus on. <laughs> Taiwan News just really likes clickbait. <laughs> Just be loving that clickbait. Living for that clickbait. Okay. We've done something. <laughs> We've done something. One, two. Weather Taijung, 23. 23 indeed. Yes. I know. That's why I've got like a whole hoodie on. Observe. It's most of a hoodie, but like, you know. Observe. Uh, I even took a scarf with me the other day somewhere because I knew it was going to be chilly. It was like 19. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Envy. Yeah, it's going to get really cold here. Um, I I got my, my lap heater. <laughs> I don't have it right now, but I have one. Uh, we still got, we got the first snow the other day, but we're not expecting a proper winter for a while still. Yeah, I mean a lot of places. 
it's like literally freezing in a lot of places isn't it weather pittsburgh 14 uh, i expected it to be lower babs from that one time you sent me a picture of your car and it was just all frost it's time to be confused it's always like especially now One, two, one, two. Uh, it's been raining cats and dogs in Jakarta and the internet has been hellish. Oh no. 29, humidity 76. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been pretty up and down the past few weeks. Dang. Dang. Weather Tivoli. 13. Look at that. <laughs> Under 30. I mean, hasn't the sun gone down for you? The sun's gone down for me. I sent it over to Babs. Babs, take the sun. Treat it well. <laughs> um, 13. Yeah, that's cold. That's chilly. That's, that's chillier than I would like it to be. I don't like 13. I went kayaking on Saturday. Onion, are you okay? <laughs> are you fine? in eight degrees just going in the kayak onion is pretending that he lives in venice <laughs> so what's going on um uh, it's 11 a.m i know it's winter but luckily there's sunlight at this time of day after five now it's yeah it's cold it's dark here too it's 5 45 and it is dark <laughs> There is no sun. The sun still have about one hour of their shift here. Oh yeah, you're like a lot more south than I am. You are literally on the equator. Yes, that makes a lot of sense as to why. I'm just gonna... Oh, that doesn't work. What is this? It's garbage. I can't like... I can't, I can't just like... Zip up the hoodie. <laughs> it's so mean to me. I can use it as a pillow either. It's not big enough. I'm very upset. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's dark here now. It's getting chilly. It's 23. Uh, last night it was like 17 in the night and I was so cold. It was freezing. <laughs> I might actually open up our like warm blanket that we bought from Ikea. Ikea. If anyone knows how to make a warm blanket, I'm gonna assume it's the Scandinavians, right? Like, if anyone on this planet has got the warm blanket thing down, it's probably the Swedish. Um, you should just move somewhere colder. Should I just move to somewhere colder in the world? Just so I can knit and crochet cute warm clothes? Maybe. Yeah, that's true, actually. Since you're a crocheter, there's not much you can make if you live in somewhere that's hot all the time. Not very exciting, crochet-wise. I buy my favorite blankets from Ikea that are built to be cooler. Oh, I s we have like a mattress thing that's made to be cooler, but I don't want the blanket made to be cooler. I want it to be warmer. I want to be toasty. I want to be like a piece of toast, very nice and safe under a blanket and just like warm and cozy. <laughs> if I'm gonna be in a big blanket, I want it to be a cozy one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. <laughs> I can't sleep without my feather duvet on me, so it's gotta be as cold as possible. Well, that's fair. I mean, if that's just what you need for sleeping. I am used to sleeping, not used to, I hate sleeping everywhere, but like, I don't have any very specific requirements. <laughs> My only thing that I prefer to have when I sleep is water nearby. That's all I want. <laughs> Everything else is, I can deal with. It's fine. <laughs> I just, I get, I, I don't know how people sleep without like water next to them. What do you do when you wake up? Do you just like deal with a, a dry mouth? <laughs> Drinking tea drinks tea to pretend it's water. I have my water. It's just not very full. I care. If I could get this 
join properly, I would be very happy about it. Yeah, very happy about it. Alright. I don't know if we can actually finish the skirt today. There's, there's probably not a big chance that we can. But if I can get one line across the skirt today, I would be happy. Um, I got a mini fridge in my room so I could just go grab a drink on the way to the... Unsweet? What's an unsweet? What is that? Is that a bed? Is that a fancy word for a bed? I don't like drinking still in bed too many times nearly waterboarded myself. Oh, I annoy the hell out of my partner because I just drink water laying down. <laughs> He's like, you're gonna choke and I'm like, never. And then I do end up accidentally waterboarding myself, but like, I, I refuse to admit it. I, I refuse. Ensuite, bathroom connected to the bedroom. Oh, I these are too fancy of a too fancy of a term. I've never heard of it before. Um self-waterboarding, love that term. I mean, it's just like you know if you're laying completely back and you drink some water and it goes up your nose and in your mouth at the same time. I completely get what Ulrich means. I've definitely never done that and also made the entire bed soaking wet in the process. Have never, would never. Um, yeah, I do not have a mini fridge, so I guess that makes sense. Uh, the only time I've ever had a mini fridge is when it had to be my actual fridge. I was renting a place in Germany and they didn't give us an actual fridge. It was a mini fridge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think one more. Uh, coughing up water hurts too much for how easily it's done. Right? Right? Only way to make it feel better is drink more water. No, it's- I don't understand the, the biology of why coughing up water hurts so much more than like breathing in water. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess it's just not supposed to go that way. You don't wake up because your mouth is dry, take a sip of water and go back to sleep. That's what I do. And then accidentally waterboard myself sometimes. Just accidentally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. Cool. Let's see. I, that's like really my only specific thing. I know some people who like need the TV on and like need a very specific temperature to go to sleep and like need a blanket and stuff. I do not- I'm not that picky. I just want some water and preferably a pillow. Not exactly necessary. Once when I was living in Ecuador, uh, after a weird what I can only describe as a cult meeting that I was taken to. Um, I don't even know how to elaborate on that. It was a weird day. But I was given a beanbag chair to sleep in, and my god, that one was the roughest. I fell asleep fine. It was waking up. <laughs> it was waking up that caused physical pain. My neck was like stuck. Uh, recently stumbled onto a big debate in Germany in places not coming with kitchens. Many were so confused and hating it, but I want it so I can have a reason to own my favorite stove and such. Keep using it at every place instead of getting crappy rentals with the worst 50 year old stoves. I mean, the fair, but like, wait, so what about like the rest of the kitchen though? I feel like the rest of the kitchen is kind of important too though. No? Do you disagree? Uh, what am I doing? One. One. How did I do this so wrong? One, two, three, four. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know what's going on. I'm confused. Um, my mouth was so dry that I started waterboarding myself, but like it hurts. Almost like you shouldn't inhale liquids. Life is hard, I mean, okay? We can't all plan our life like this. We can't all plan our life to be so good at it that we don't accidentally water our waterboard ourselves when we wake up in the night. Sorry, I'm not perfect, Onion. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, let's see. This goes further by five. Does this go further? One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Okay, I think I'm mostly confused because I didn't mess up. I'm <laughs> I'm more confused that I've done this actually properly than I would be confused if I had made a mistake. I'm like, wow, I actually counted things right. Impossible. Um, when I'm sick, I'm not a mouth breather, so only have the issue in my nose is blocked. Oof. I mean, I'm not a not mouth breather either. It's just like the dry air. Would suck at first, but invest in portable full kitchen and portable full kitchen kit and keep loving it for years. Also, if you're like me, why is my the back of me so bright? If you're like me, uh, I rarely use a kitchen, so I have it as tiny as possible and more room for other things. I'm trying to get better at cooking. I am notoriously very bad at cooking, but I would like to be good at cooking. So that involves like actually cooking. I cooked yesterday. I made some food yesterday. I want to cook again today. We'll see. I still have to do the dishes from yesterday, <laughs> which is kind of what's stopping me. Um, so, so, you know, I'm trying to. I would like to have an oven. That would help a lot. Uh, I just expose myself as a drooly mouth breather when I sleep. <laughs> I actually don't, I'm not a mouth breather. I just get like, I, I just have to constantly drink water. Lubrication of the throat is necessary. Dishes from yesterday are a problem of next week. It would be if I didn't have to do them. If I didn't have to actually sit down and do them so I could cook more. My partner said he would do them. He did not. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'll just do them myself. Try starting with some Korean food. They're surprisingly simple. That's my go-to in cooking for myself in college. I mean, Japanese food is also really easy. Um, but I am i don't want to be easy cooking. I made Persian food yesterday and I might make Palestinian food today. I specifically want, if I'm going to cook, I want it to be things that like I can't get on Uber Eats for cheap. Because in Taiwan, cooking is actually like more expensive than um, than just ordering in. One, two, scrap, skip, one, skip, two, how did I skip, one, one second, skip. One. One. Okay, okay. I see what I need to do. I just need to go like here and here. Excellent. Um, I never got the movie troop of drooling all over pillows like are y'all just chewing on this thing. Some people just sleep with their mouth open. <laughs> um, it is so bright behind me. Why? Uh, come on now, I drew all my pillow because that's sexy behavior. <laughs> of course! This year has been great on my diet because it's been nothing but frozen microwave meals, so I really get a mini- Is it this that's making my background so bright? I guess so. I don't know how to make it lower. This is as low as I can make it. Um, because it's been nothing but frozen microwave meals, so I get a mini fridge in my room for water and snacks. In my kitchen, I only use the freezer and microwave. Main fridge and cupboards are internally empty. I wish. I never have any space in this kitchen. I wish I had an oven. <laughs> this is my dream. New dream in life. Move somewhere that has an oven, or at least space for an oven. Because I have a toaster oven that does not toast very well. Recipes are like, it should take less time, and I'm like, that's a lie. A lie? <laughs> Lying to me? Um, yes, I, I want an oven. It's my desire. So that I cannot use it. Always makes me laugh when I see those trend videos that are like, make things from what you have at home, and I just laugh at a single block of cheese in my fridge. The possibilities are endless, Ulrich. You could make grilled cheese. You could eat cheese and crackers. You could... I, I literally don't know what people do with cheese. I just know people really love cheese. I don't know how you eat it. I sent that infographic. Uh, <laughs> I sent that one infographic. I know Jane saw it on my Discord because um, <laughs> because it's uh, insane. <laughs> let, me, let me show it on stream. 
Where is... Here we go. Lunchbox? Oh my. Oh my. Thank you very much for the cheer 100. How are you doing? How's it going? Thank you so much for the bits. <laughs> I really appreciate it. How are you doing? It haunts my dreams now. Yeah, I was just laughing at the this cheese and sweets pairings because it's um kind of unhinged. Oh my god, lunchbox. <laughs> lunchbox, what's going on here? Why is my bit sounds not working either? Um here, let me switch back here so my bit sounds work. Uh thank you so much for the 200 bits. What how are you doing? How's it going? 300 bits, my god. You know if you write something, you can get the text-to-speech to say stuff, too. Um, th thanks? <laughs> oh my lord, I am not sure what's happening. Th thank you so much for 400 bits. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Lunchbox, your first message into the stream was just giving me a bunch of bits. Oh, hi. Oh, thank you so much for all the bits. Deeply appreciate it. Um, you didn't even make the bits pot say anything, which, speaking of, why why didn't it say anything? I feel like it was supposed to say something. Let me, let me try that again. Is that Hollow Knight I hear? No, never. Why do you not say things? Why do you- why do you tell me lies? Anyway, Jocks, thank you so much! How are you doing today? How's it going? If you don't want to talk, that's fine too. <laughs> if you want to lurk, that's also perfectly- it's, it's perfectly fine, but thank you- Oh my dear lord! <laughs> are you just- do you really want my capitalism emo? Is that what's going on? Uh, I have a box of salt in my cupboard. I don't use it for cooking. It said it's for clothes drying. Ulrich, that's unhinged. I don't know what you're talking about. This one triggered me, honestly. The cheese? All the highness stripper bowls. I didn't get past the first one because I was like, I'm out <laughs> on the cheese. Is that, um, as an Indonesian, um, I want to defend that mild cheddar and chocolate it's good and that are topping on anything. Sure. No, I thought you said to try again. No, I'm so sorry. Um, I, I hope I did not give you too much misunderstanding. No, I was just confused why it wasn't working. I thought it would make a noise, but it doesn't want to make a noise, and I don't know why. Hmm, I guess it doesn't make a noise. I'm, I'm just staring really hard at this now. Okay, all right, let me... I will do it again. Chubsy, you're already a VIP. Chubsy. Chubsy, what do you want? Chubsy, what do you want me to do? Now what? Now what? I don't know. I have no idea. What do you desire? Um, I guess I have to... I guess I have to do something for you? One second. I'm trying to... I'm trying to... Get this to announce this. No! Why not? Well, Lunchbox, thank you so much for all the bits. I don't know why my text-to-speech lady said lol no. <laughs> Streamlabs makes no sense to me. Um, how, how you doing? How's it going? How's your Monday going? <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> I, I appreciate it a lot. Where's the VIP badge? I don't know. I don't, do you, do you want to give someone else a VIP badge, Chubsy? <laughs> Um, what does your heart desire? I guess I could be like a genie. I'm still upset with Streamlabs for for not working properly. Do you, what does your heart desire? Do you want to like kick me out? Do you want like a Leto only stream? Like what, what can I do for you? I'm just I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm gonna try it one more time. One second. Secret man cheer. X one hundred. There we go. Finally, Sifrit Nan cheered. Which is, I, I'm surprised she reads the numbers in Arabic. Actually, so does she read the numbers in Arabic? That's amazing. 
Zero to a cheers. Um, if you don't know, you add salt when dying. Uh, fabrics. Separate oh. nan cheered. X100. Thank you so much. Wait, I can like hire it. I feel like you might. Let me lower the volume of the Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight. I need you to go. I need you to go down. Oh, it works. Yeah, thank you so much. Here, I'm gonna play it again just so you can hear it properly. Sifrithnan cheered. X100. X100. I love her so much. Alright. Um, if you're if you're not familiar, by the way, that's my fit spot. She's a work in progress. <laughs> nice. Thank you very much. Sifrithnan, which is just zero to an Arabic. Like she didn't read out lunchbox. She went LOL. No, that's too much. <laughs> Where's the infographic? It's in the food channel. Um, it, it's in the food channel of the... Thank you so much for following, too! <laughs> Just spam me with bits and then follow. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you very, very much for the follow. <laughs> I wonder what this button does. Um, Jane, did you find it? Chubsy's thinking. Chubsy, I don't know what to tell you. If you wanna... Yeah, I am at your call, I guess. What, what do you want? What do you want? I told someone about the QR code thing you did and they loved the idea but couldn't find a clip of anything. Is there a clip or a picture of something I can show them? Yeah. Um, I actually have it for free up on my Kofi if you want that. You can just like show them the actual thing. Um, I still haven't sold, put the other one up for sale on Kofi. It'll happen. I don't know if there's a clip. Do you want to just take a screenshot? <laughs> Also, if you haven't scanned my QR code, do you want to scan my QR code? It's very much safe. Don't worry about it. It's it's a good QR code. Nothing bad will happen to you. It'll only download more RAM. Here, wait, let me do like a... <laughs> my QR code. I'll decide next time I'm sleepy right now. Chubsy, I have absolutely no idea what to do for you. You've saved up so many points. Oh. We'll do whatever you want. Chubsy gets to pick the stream. <laughs> what do you want to do next stream? <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I still need to fix this part and then and then I'll let this. What does this other button? Lunchbox, I'm so scared now. What are what are all the buttons doing? <laughs> How many buttons do you have? Okay, let me take it back. I hope you all scanned my QR code. In the meantime, I worked very hard on it. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, I gotta play the song. I have to do it manually because because everything's really mean to me. Uh, there we go. Um Bunchbox for the Rick roll. I can also play the Rick roll. This one's the one that plays for five. I I'll play the Rick roll too. Um here, here you go. <laughs> That's what you would like. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the five gift subs, which is wild. No, the QR Rickroll was funny. Yeah, you can have a pattern for it. It's free on my Kofi. Uh, here, we can just put this right here. I love putting it in the corner. Um, Lunchbox, after I finished it, we raided someone and they called me a curse word and it was my first interaction ever with them. It was the greatest moment of my life when we raided Kim and <laughs> and she immediately cussed me out <laughs> because I got her to scan this. But thank you so much for for all of the sub gifts, especially to Rally Art, Speckle, Sapphire, Taoid, and Rusty Cola. It's super generous of you extremely generous of you um do you do you like crafting do you just like hanging out <laughs> party song we already did that last time last time when we had that like really insane hype train that was one of the ones i got by the way i remember for because in that insane hype train we got i played a chiptune version of all i want for christmas is you we did get we did get that part of the vod muted so nobody ask me for all I want for Christmas is you, because it's going to get muted. It will no longer be allowed. 
lol. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a good day. I love making people scan my QR code. I want to make more QR codes. I've been told to make one that links to... Uh, what's that one song? The last Christmas I gave you my heart song? I would really rather not. I don't like Christmas music. I would very much rather not link to that. But, but yeah, thank you so much for all the bits and all the gift subs. Do not do that. Yeah, I, I have no desire to do that. Noriko was like, you should do that. And I was like, I will not do that. <laughs> that sounds painful. No. If I do that, I will never escape people singing Christmas music to me. I'm at work surfing the channels because I'm bored glad I found you. Welcome in. Um, we're having a very chill day today, actually. I'll have you know. Um, welcome in. This is my stream. It's basically just chatting, but like I do stuff with my hands because I need to keep my hands busy, I guess. That's that's the most honest description of this stream. Also, there's a cat. Do you want to see the cat? Hi, Morganolia. How you doing? Mariah Carey. Babs, please. Babs, please. Here's the kitty cat. She doesn't want to sit next to me today. Let's not be right back. I'm literally right here. Kitty cat, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Big stretch. Big stretch with the chicken legs. Look at little chicken legs. Look at little chicken legs. What was that? Was that kiss little? <laughs> she has a little chicken legs. No? No? It's just a little kiss. Big kiss. No. Uh, I'll be back for sure to see. I love the kitty. She's a good kitty. She's... I could wake her up, actually. I do want to wake her up. She's been asleep a really long time. Come with me. There we go. There she is. <laughs> I just need to, like, get in, get in the camera. It's the baby. She needs to wake up so that she doesn't wake me up in the middle of the night. Uh, oh, kiss. She's been kissed. Um, getting ready for work. Oh, my Canalia, this is your new job, right? <laughs> Kiss. Um, I'm looking for a few hours, but I'm always here for some kisses on Leto. She needs to wake up. She's so sleepy. <laughs> Look at this baby. Look at how sleepy she is. The sleepiest baby. <laughs> I'll pass on Mariah Perry. I prefer singing random lines of other songs myself. Here, come sit here. Go sit there. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I need her to wake up because I really like not being woken up in the middle of the night, but somebody, somebody in this house likes to yell at me until I give her hugs and kisses at four in the morning. I love the kitty. Everybody loves the kitty. He's a good girl. Um, I, I like the idea of Babs just like singing random songs to herself. Love it. It's amazing. Kiss her, Pat. She's the cutest. She really is. Getting ready for my hour-long bike ride to work. Oh my god, Morganolia. That's a distance. You must be so fit and healthy. <laughs> I The longest I did was half-hour bike ride to work, but like most of that was stuck in traffic. It wasn't really a distance thing. It was a rush hour thing. Um, I still bop to Mariah Curry at Christmas, though. Do it. I'm not here to judge you. Just don't play it to me. You can bop to whatever you want. I, it is not a you problem that I am sick of Christmas music. My muscles don't like that, but it's nothing a protein shake won't fix. What a hero. Morganolia, what a hero. If none of you guys were here, for if any of you weren't here during the absolute fiasco that happened at Morganolia's last job, you should ask them about, um, what happens when you drop how many? 40,000 jars of tomato sauce on the ground? Uh, an Olympic sized swimming pool of tomato sauce on the ground? You should, you should ask it, don't mention it. <laughs> Absolute hero. I hope you have some good tunes or an audiobook to keep you going. Oh god, an audiobook on a bike sounds just like depressing. I. I couldn't wear headphones last time though because I didn't have these. These are 
they can like amplify sound. It's not really safe to have headphones on while on a bike. Um, unless you can like hear other things, right? So these amplify outside sounds for me. So I can wear these on a bike because cars are louder with it on. Uh, um, but before I did it, so I would just have to like bike and listen to the sweet sounds of beep beep. <laughs> the sweet, sweet sounds of traffic. Right, here we go. Oh dear god, all right, how are we doing? Oh, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> it's happening. I told you we're finishing this before 2023, which is like, regardless of my dad's head, we are finishing this before 2023. I don't know how I'm gonna explain my nose piercing to my boss though. Do you need to explain your nose piercing to your boss? I feel like it's uh, pretty thoroughly not their business to what you need to explain. I don't know, does it like affect your work? I just got it done so I can't take it off. I mean, does it affect your work at all? Do you have to have like a, I don't know, a, a, a like monocle? <laughs> I don't know how it could affect your work very much. Uh, what am I doing? Hey, right, we're going back this way. Can do it. Can do it. But yeah, you definitely can't take it off if you just got it done. You gotta leave those piercings in. Please. Please. Please work with me here. Uh, I'm hoping there is no aluminium in it since the chemical process reacts to aluminium. Why is the sun behind me? Hello? Did I turn this off? That did not help. Why is, why is it as bright as the sun right behind me? I have no clue what's going on. Cameras, technology is really difficult to understand. I put this down here. Not much. Okay. Um. What chemical process reacts to aluminium? Uh, Morganolia? The cat's just... She's taking a bath. Um, you're hoping there's no aluminium in your nose piercing because I assume your new job has stuff that reacts? That doesn't sound great. Sounds a little sketch if you ask me. The metal extraction process. I see, I see. Sounds a bit sketch if you ask me. Uh, good luck. <laughs> You're extracting metal from your nose? I mean, hopefully not. <laughs> Let's hope no. Let's hope Morganolia's nose saves. Very safe. I work in a precious metal recycling plant. Oh no. <laughs> Stay safe, Morganolia. Stay safe. Don't get any nose infections. That sounds really awful. Uh, if you gotta sacrifice- don't pick your nose at work. That is a very good advice. Listen to Onion's advice, don't pick your nose at work. I just realized I never said hi to Sandres. Sandres, I know you're lurking, keep lurking, lurk away, lurk as much as you want. I just realized I never said hi to you, hello. Obviously. I mean... <laughs> yeah, so sorry. I like just noticed. Feel free to lurk away, I know you're working. It's, it's more than welcome. We're just chilling. I managed to wrangle the kitty cat over here. Okay. Oh yeah, Bab said this was sleepy music. We need to change it. I don't want to sleepy anyone. Um, where is non-sleepy music? Where is awakey music? You know I gotta do it. I'm gonna summon Dormar like this. Is Rimworld a <laughs> I'm keeping you all awake to the space cowboy music. That's what we're doing. Also, anyway. I'm good now. I had an energy drink. I am literally over caffeinated. It's, <laughs> it's too late for me. <laughs> it's too late for me. I've had two coffees and now I'm having a big pot of tea. It's, I'm going to just like collapse at some point. That's perfectly fine. 
Bilbab, how you doing? Bilbab, you are my test subject for postcards. <laughs> I sent you the very threatening, mildly threatening postcard. Um, if you could tell me when it arrives, I would be so thankful. <laughs> That's all, just, just when it arrives, I would be very thankful. <laughs> Um, shout out William Babble. A shout out- Oh, I mean, I beat you. <laughs> Both shout outs. Um, a shout out to William Babble, who's a lovely artist. Um, artist of the maps, mambalas, and monsters. Uh, very cool. Has nice space buns. Pretty good cat. Pretty nice cat. She's cool. Should go check it out. Threatening postcards, I'm sure the police will pass it on eventually. I already showed it on stream earlier, I'm not gonna show it to you now. Let it be a surprise. <laughs> but Billiam, I, I- Buying the postcard for you gave me a whole idea. I'm debating- Debating... Doing a, uh, A thing on my Kofi, because Kofi does membership tiers. I already spoke about this again at the beginning of stream, so like, anyone who was here then could just tune out for a second. So at the beginning of stream, I talked about how I have this new idea where I found a place that just sells absolutely unhinged postcards, and I'm really into it. And Kofi lets you do membership tiers. So I was thinking that if I could make a membership tier where I just send you a completely unhinged postcard every month, it sounds like so much fun. I'm very into the idea of sending people mildly threatening, but mostly just like absolutely insane postcards. Um, so you're my test subject for this. I want to know how long it takes to get to you. Uh, to see how feasible this idea is. And then I need to know how many people are actually into receiving an absolutely unhinged postcard. Um... I have to get going, have a nice stream. Thank you so much for dropping by, Morganolia. I'm on my second cup of coffee and I still feel tired. I hope the bright ride wakes you up. Don't pick your nose at work. This is something I'm going to start telling you forever now. Don't pick your nose at work. Have a lovely day. Uh, but yeah, Bill Bab, how you doing? How's it going today? What am I doing? I'm doing this. I get distracted. <laughs> but yes, so Bilbab, that is my that is my genius idea that is like an off-brand version. How are you? So much progress on the Alice thing? I feel like you're just lying. Because we spent the first two hours of the stream cutting out flashcards. <laughs> we didn't even glue them. <laughs> we just cut them out. It took ages. Ages, Bilbab, ages. <laughs> I pick my nose only at work. They can pay for it. Okay, fair. But like, Morganolia might get their nose like dissolved. <laughs> I'm not sure what the risks of doing that are, but they probably should not. I'm good. Sleepy and confused is my permanent state. That is a mood. Well, go get some tea or coffee, whatever you drink, um, for the waking time. I'm just lagging today. I'm just- I'm so sorry, Onion. I know you're having a day. Onion is having a day. You know what might make Onion feel better? If everyone went and followed Onion. Maybe. I'm not sure if that would make him feel better. But you know you should follow Onion anyway, because Onion, my mod, absolutely lovely, um, is a software and game development streamer. <laughs> do you want to go mess around with his light bulbs and also his desk height? Because that's a thing you can do on his stream. Thankfully, that's not a thing you can do on my stream. I'd lose my mind. I don't want any of you touching my light bulbs. Stay away from my light bulbs. <laughs> Onion is a braver man than I. Um, ain't it fun to think I just found the stream and you started this and we're still going? <laughs> Ulrich, this is literally the second thing I started after I finished the giant hands. Uh, the, the hands of God and Adam and... Listen, I said I said we're finishing this before 2023, and I'm trying to stick to that. We're dedicating this entire week to the Alice in Wonderland stitch. I want it finished. I want it to be done. I don't want to be a liar. Interactive chaos. That's exactly what Onion Stream is. You can go there, you can make his light bulb bright red, and then 
probably make his desk shorter or taller depending on if that's set up by the next time he streams. So yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna follow Onion and I don't see why you don't do it. <laughs> Go mess with him. Um, but yeah, Onion is having a day. I will send you more hugs. More hugs for the day that you're having because it is, it is a day and a half. Also stretch. Okay. Broke us up to an auto feeder filetto. Zeta was already borderline chubby. Above your head so we can just drown you in stats. No. Also, I can't do that. Um, another cross stitch streamer, Crisco Designs, really cool dude, has a redeem to give the cat a snack, and I could not imagine what would happen if I started doing that with Leto. She already has like the, the tuna paste that like Catasaurus Rocks always makes me go get for her. <laughs> um, and that's already more than enough. If she had like treats that people could just give her constantly, my god. My god. We would- this- this camera would just have a cat on it. Like she would just loaf on here until somebody gave her treats and then she would never move. She likes she likes the snacks. Um, I don't blame her. I also like snacks, but the but it's for her own good. Look at this chubby baby. Look at this chubby baby. It really is because of the light. I need to like figure that out. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Thank you so much for the bits, cat. You have told me to go get tuna for Leto multiple times. I've only listened once and twice now. I'll go get it for her. <laughs> uh, you do tell me all the time to give her the cat crap, though. You can't deny it. I also love her so much. I love Barty 2's voice. Cat, that's all it's rocks. Cheers. 200. I love her so much. <laughs> she brings me so... It just reminds me of all of my aunties. Um, you just called B Leto borderline chubby so mean. I didn't do that. The vet did that, okay? She's 4.5 kilos. <laughs> Leto. Alright, let's go get the... Let's go get the cat crack, as you've called it. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Let me go get it from the fridge. Um... I didn't even know you were here. Neto. 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 Do you want some? What do you have to say? Can you hear her? Let me see, let me just mute Vermworld for a second. Can you hear the kitty cat? Can you hear the meowing? Do you want this? You want some food? You want some snacks? Yes? Meow? No meow. Just no meow, only tuna paste. Yum 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 <laughs> All the num num nums. That's enough. That's enough. There's no more. It's, it's more than enough tuna paste. If anyone hasn't seen it yet, it's actually amazing. Observe. <laughs> Observe. Just sticking a tuna paste into her mouth. Alright, right, I'm putting this back. No more. That's enough. You stay here. She has been given. She has been given the tuna paste. Um, I so want Okinawa in with the whole tuna fish. Do you know how big a tuna fish is, William? William, how big do you think a tuna fish is? Uh, I would like. I would like your estimation on the size. Thank you very much for the bits, Catasaurus. Um, it, she has been given the cat crack, as it could be called. Why is the sun in this room? Why is it so bright? I don't... 
comprehend it. They're huge, yeah, like they're like much larger. I'm pretty sure they're bigger than tigers. <laughs> um, little Hasmia, only 25 times. Hey, I'm glad you can hear her. The joke, some people don't know how big tuna fish are, which is fair. I mean, I've never seen one. I only see them in cans. Is it gonna turn into the sun again? Thank you for the treats. She has been given treats. She's outside kind of throwing a tantrum right now. She's like just sitting outside the fridge and she's like, why more? Why not more? Why you take away? Because she's not supposed to have it. I'm gonna get in trouble with her vets because she's chubby. She's chubby and she might be allergic to tuna, but like not actually. I don't think she's allergic to tuna. They just don't know if she's allergic to the tuna or not. I'm pretty sure she's not, but you know. <laughs> she loves it so much. I don't have it in me to deny the tuna face to the cat. It's I, I can't do it. It hurts my soul. Hi, Virgo. How you doing? Welcome back. Are we done with our tantrum? We couldn't get the fridge open. Oh, I'm sorry. I will stop. Don't worry. I, I give it to her anyway. That's why she only gets a little bit. She gets a little bit, a little bit. It's not like a digestive allergy either. It's she gets a thing on her mouth, but it's only when she hurts her mouth. So me and the vets have very differing opinions about this. <laughs> very, very differing opinions. Uh, tuna, the cows of the sea. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, every time I've watched the tuna being stripped, I just want to take the biggest chunk and cook it. People like their giant cuts of beef. I want that, but tuna. How big is a giant cut of tuna? I'm allergic to hard work, but I still turn up every week. It's a mood. I mean, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, we have this curse thing still on stream. Uh, I saw that we have a solitaire. We're doing, we're doing the onion. Let's do it. It's not a bad habit if I only give it to her like once a week <laughs> and also only a little bit. And also the fact that I'm convinced it's not actually something she's allergic to. Me and the vets argue and fight and me and the vets are fighting. And the girlies are fighting and the girlies are me and the vets. Um, okay. Mariko, did I say hi to you? I hope I did. Mariko, hi. <laughs> Mariko, hi. We've given Leto some tuna paste. She is very happy and overjoyed right now and falling back asleep immediately. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You can see the kitty cat. <laughs> she falls back asleep. Excellent. Look at all those aces. <laughs> Look at all those aces. Oh yeah, anyone who haven't seen, of course you can lurk if you want. It's more than welcome as always. Uh, if you want to let me know how you're doing, how your day's going, feel welcome to do so. This goes here, this goes here. I feel like this is going unreasonably well. Suspiciously well. <laughs> A little bit sus how well this is going. Oh, we missed the witty paragraph I typed earlier. Oh no. Where's the witty paragraph we typed earlier? I did miss it. I missed the Ulrich ones too. Alright, thank you for pointing it out. Let me read that really quickly. Um, can we stop to imagine what it would be like to be Ofi. She has a bazillion dumb ideas for new projects but insists on crafts art so slow that we appreciate and reflect on morality. <laughs> Mortality. Uh, Billy, am I truly, I truly operate in mysterious ways. <laughs> Billy, am I, did you just, I feel so, I feel so seen. I feel naked. What is this thing? What is this breakdown of my mental state? <laughs> did you know Duck Pond streams are a thing? I have, uh, because I played them for Leto before. She just doesn't really know what a duck is. So she just looks at it and she's like, mother, why? Bring me back the birds. <laughs> Um, followed a great one on a farm that tips a ring bell and drops food into a pond where lots of wild ducks can die for all the snacks. I know exactly what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're... I've shown that one to Leto before and she's just like, Mother, these are not birds. <laughs> Put the birds back. Okay, I don't think, I don't think that one's as helpful. This is good. Uh, yes, yes, this was a good choice. This was a good choice. I think. Oilier. Your corpse has a gun. 
How are you doing? How's the life? How do you be? Welcome to Solitaire O'Clock. Yeah, that's the o'clock that it is right now. It's Solitaire O'Clock. Because... Why not? <laughs> because why shouldn't it be Solitaire O'Clock? After all, why not? Um, I feel like we might win this one, but I don't want to get my hopes up too early. It's a bit too early to get my hopes up. How are you doing? Thought it was like ducks are not proper birds. She literally did not know what a duck was. She just looked at it and was just like, mm. <laughs> bring back the birds. <laughs> uh, oof, 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 oof. It's getting, it's getting close. I would like, I would like to. Where's a black queen? I need a black queen. Hello? Hello? I would like a black queen, please. You can go here. You can go here. We're going to continue just playing one card at a time. Um, is there six of hearts around? There is. You go here. Is there seven of hearts around? No. Crap. Hi, Jay. Looking good. Winnable. No high hopes. Staircase to heaven. Got nothing on the high hopes I have for this game. Jay, I'm about to disappoint you so hard. I'm about to disappoint you harder than you've ever been disappointed in your life. How do I- can I put this anywhere else? Nope. No. Scream. Um, we tried. I'm not feeling it. Swarfer? People leave- I know, I know. I'm so sorry for having such disappointed. It makes you feel any better, my song? No. Yeah, we lost. There's, there's nothing I can do with it. It's time for me to party to a harpsichord. <laughs> I have a second coffee corpse. I'm over caffeinated today. I'm going to like literally just collapse in a couple hours, if not sooner than that. How dare you unblessed? I get to party to harpsichord. I love feeling like evil royalty in some weird young adult novel. I want to be a vampire in a young adult novel. Uh, but like, can I be like a Robin Hood vampire? I wouldn't have thought coming here on a Monday morning would have been disappointing. Well, <laughs> I don't even know how to react to that message. <laughs> Sorry I'm such a disappointment, god. <laughs> I'm doing my best to not lose solitaire. It's not my fault it's a hard game. All of you guys go play solitaire. Hmm? This week I met a rad musician who plays an autograph and she collects old instruments, so it has a harpsichord and a hurdy-gurdy. So cool. This is very specific. Evil royalty in a teen romance about vampires. That is the vibe I want. Also, Billiam, you think that's specific? You should you should see the titles of YouTube lo-fi mixes I get because they're all ridiculous. <laughs> My YouTube recommendations for music are like classical music because I do listen to a lot of classical music. It just gets copyrighted on stream for some god unknown reason. Um, and so half of it is just like classical musical mixes to make you feel like you're wearing a tiara and a bathtub made of quartz in the 1800s. And I'm just like, what the hell is this? <laughs> and then like the lo-fi ones are like lo-fi for ghosts only. And I'm like, what does that mean? Like, what are, what are the vibes you're trying to give me? <laughs> they try to evoke such specific vibes that I don't understand. <laughs> I'm with you. See, Jane gets me. Jane gets me. <laughs> One second, this is- let me be my- excuse me, give me a moment. There's a guitar solo I'm very into. One second. It's very really important to me. If I knew how to whistle out, this is so hard. better thank you thank you for indulging me i need that video in my life if i can find something like that for you um see see i'm so glad jane gets what i'm talking about because like i would feel very alone in my youtube recommendations my youtube recommendations pages are just exactly what you think they are just exactly as weird as you think they are 
Mixed to make you feel like the evil villain lusting over you invited to a haunted ball. No, Jane, that's like an actual video, isn't it? Like, it's... <laughs> That's like a real description to one of the most popular videos for classical music, and I'm just like, can we calm down? <laughs> Chill. Somebody's really horny for classical music, and it's the people that make these videos. <laughs> it's because it was in my recommended. If I went on my personal YouTube account right now, I'm sure I could also find that video. I think I've listened to it before as well. It's like sad. I don't know how to say the name. I'm about to be like such like an uncultured noob. Someone who speaks French is gonna come yell at me. It's like Sat Satie? Sat I don't know how to pronounce the guy. <laughs> Do you know the guy? That's like half the video. It's him and uh I think there's like a little bit of Tchaikovsky and then it's I'm like this isn't really I'm not sure what we're doing here. <laughs> It's like Moonlight Sonata and every single one of these mixes is just different movements of Moonlight Sonata. Sonata? I don't know how to say it. If I wanted a fanfiction, I'd be on AO3. Now give me some generically early 2000s pop hits. Uh, Jane, I'm so glad our YouTube recommendations are equally unhinged. <laughs> and yeah, the lo-fi ones do get really specific. It's, it's amazing. Uh, if I wanted to feel like an evil villain, I belt out Hellfire from Hunchback of Notre Dame. It's too good. I mean, that is a pretty sick song. <laughs> Based. <laughs> um, also, the that is that is true. I, I wish Disney would really make some more uh, religious imagery filled music. Sounds very fun. Um, all the thumbnails for the very specific YouTube videos I have in mind as well are amazing if you really want unhinged you should see the meditation video titles oh my god i can only imagine andrew <laughs> i can only imagine how off the rails those video titles get i don't want to find some oh, i can't because it would just like listen my youtube algorithm's already having a day like it's already um scrambled you could say a week ago, Spotify's algorithm decided that based on the stuff I'm listening to, it was a good idea to make me listen to the Italian national anthem, but that is still better than those lo-fi YouTube mixes. <laughs> Do you want the Italian national anthem? Jane, I am so close to losing my mind if I have to listen to God Save the Queen one more time. I'm this close breaking if I listen to God Save the Queen one more time. It's because my partner has been playing Victoria 3, which just came out, and there's like no songs. There's like 10 songs and one of them's God Save the Queen and I'm like, please, please. <laughs> I can't keep hearing this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, one. I need to count. Have you seen the great Tchaikovsky's canon meme? I've heard it plenty of times one two three four five six how is it a meme you put actual cannons in the song it's not a meme if it's real life <laughs> attract pure clean positive energy manifest anything from the universe and meditation music yeah that's 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 amazing remove all negative energy tibetan healing sounds increases mental strength that's you guys are really getting into like the the essential oils crowds with those uh, titles you've got there. They're amazing. Into the essential oil cure all, let me take my baby to a chiropractor crowd. I feel like you're getting in dangerous territory. Imagine being in a theater in the 1800s, going to the latest Tchaikovsky symphony, and then bam, cannon fires. I don't think they actually did it in like enclosed spaces, did they? I feel like everybody would be. I feel like everybody would be dead. Uh, really needed videos, okay. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. Um, I'm not saying essential oils are bad either. I know some people absolutely love it, and I would be full of crap if I didn't say, I know this isn't an essential oil, but it's basically the same thing. If I didn't say that whenever I get a cough or a runny nose, I don't like slather um, tiger balm all over myself. <laughs> that would be a lie. Um, and I like drink chamomile tea when I want to be sleepy and peppermint tea for like sinuses and stuff. It would be a lie if I said uh, I was super into it. It's just, it gets dangerous at some point. At some point you get into anti-vax territory. Um, I keep getting Christian hymns 
10 hours type videos, I report them as repulsive, they keep getting recommended. I just go like, I'm not interested. <laughs> I think that's the better way to do it. I think YouTube prefers knowing what you're not interested in than well, like you reporting videos. Because they're like, who cares if you report it? But if I can't advertise to you on this video, that's really important. I bet they go to Inspirobot for titles. <laughs> Amazing. There's an account of a theater getting destroyed by the cannon thing. Uh, absolutely based. How did I not know that? It's great. Um, hey Jane, what's your- uh, hey anyone, what's your favorite classical composer? <laughs> classical composer, fun time, who do you like? I love Vivaldi. I think Vivaldi's a cool dude. I think the fact that he went and taught at an orphanage for female um, orphans, like a female only orphanage, that did music is very cool. Um, I, I I like his music. <laughs> I'm a big Vivaldi fan. Also, Four Seasons Summer, the hypest. Sexist orphanage I see. Listen, it was Italy longer than 50 years ago. So, um, 10 hours of pigs is a bit excessive, right, William? Tiger Balm made from real tigers. I actually have no idea what's in Tiger Balm. I'm just gonna assume it's an essential oil. Hey Tommy, how's it going? I did that for a while, but it wasn't working, so I switched to repulsive apps. Amazing. Mine is Stravinsky because he was based and unhinged at the same time. When were they not unhinged? Which of these classical composers was just like a normal person? I know you said you don't like them, but Family Guy makes a great joke about classical artist's name, one of my favorites. I mean, listen, Family Guy's fine, I just don't find it funny. I've never in my life laughed at a Family Guy clip. <laughs> and like I said, I was a big South Park fan, so it's not like the humor is just completely gone from me, but like... <laughs> just never found it fun. I'm good, you got school today, Tommy. Can I link to two of my favorite Tchaikovsky's me? Yeah, one second. Permit. Dang it, onion. Permit. Oh. Well, now I can't read that onion because you've made it weird. <laughs> um, Tchaikovsky is a cool guy too. His waltzes are really great. Uh, I just like waltzes in general. There's an audio version. You made it weird. You made it weird. <laughs> There's an audio version of the sound, which is great. <laughs> That's amazing. Musician, why are there 21 cannons in the storage room? Tchaikovsky. It's a surprise tool that'll help us later. I can't do a Mickey Mouse voice. Cannons are instrument. Yes, they are. I'm going to use 21 of them. <laughs> Canon music and classical music intensifies. Uh, amazing. Uh... It's pronounced WC, thank you. <laughs> God dang it, Onion. <laughs> Is that your rule for the classical music mix mixes? To never finish on WC? <laughs> the Family Guy joke has the line never finish. Oh, God dang it. Is that. Is that Ulrich? Ulrich and Onion share one brain cell. I'm voting tomorrow! No, vote first, and then you get to tell me US number one. I'm tell these are the rules. Go vote. Be a responsible citizen. Hopefully vote in favor of human rights and against fascism and all that. Um, and, and then you can come. <laughs> then you can come and then we'll argue some more about how the US is not number one, in fact. <laughs> Tchaikovsky had zero chill with music. Oh, Sazzles, did I even say hi to you? Hi, Sazzles. Sazzles, we tried to summon you earlier because we were talking about um, the song Teenagers by My Chemical Romance. Uh, Tchaikovsky really did have zero chill. N no chill at all. Zero. It was great. Claire de Lune, Top Jam. Na na na. Na 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 na. I'm a big Four Seasons Summer fan. Absolutely love it. I'm saying this right. I feel like I'm getting distracted. Gee, I wonder who's distracting me. Um, a lot of them did. Mozart broke one of his fingers by trying to overexert the tendons to play the piano faster. Shocker. Ears break my chemical romance. I don't remember why we were talking about it. And Layette is not here anymore, so they can't remind me. Who else was here? 
Why were we talking about it? Oh, we were talking about it because um, I said I wasn't going to get on TikTok because teenagers scare me. And then it devolves a little bit. <laughs> because teenagers are so powerful and I fear them. One. Two. Um... I have a book about Mozart I've been meaning to read for a really long time called Mozart Sterling. I'll get to it. Uh, how dare you assume that I don't support fascism. That is a wild sentence. Absolutely insane sentence I just read. Um, if you guys are into modern artists, Nils from and I don't know how to read these names. Let me chat. Einaudi Ludovico. I tried. I tried really hard. It was a bad attempt. Don't even try to correct me. <laughs> uh, Ludivoco Enaldi's okay, not my fave. I got bored with the piano. I am so not in tune with modern classical music. It is the last thing I know anything about. Any like new piano music I learned from Padahati Hand. <laughs> that is the complete list. Um. Catasaurus is based, yeah. Indeed, I always knew this. Uh, Niels is more experimental guy, so adds electronic medium, but a lot of his songs are just classical too. I'm just so... Does the trash truck outside count as classical music? Because it's gonna make me lose my day, mind one day. Oh, thank you trash truck. Hey, medication reminder. <laughs> hey, hey, medication reminder. Do you have pills you need to take? Any pills that are pro-baby or anti-baby or just like in general pills for like something, you should take them. This is your reminder. Uh, that's just a no wait capitalism. Oh no. Oh no. Crap, I didn't swallow it. I hate like the mild panic every time I don't swallow it. I'm like, it's gonna dissolve it. I'm not gonna take the pills. Um, I didn't mind hold music when it's classical. The two things that uh, pissed me off were one only have a snippet that repeats so it doesn't play fully. OR so compressed that it's just torture ears because of the harshness. What do you- oh! Oh, I know what you said. Like, on the phone, I get what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like- on the phone, if you call the American IRS, especially the number for people who live outside the United States, um, it's uh, the worst saxophone you've ever heard in your life, and it's so crunchy because I call the IRS through Skype, um, and it's literally torture, and they keep you on hold, especially the foreigner's number. I think the, my record is an hour and 45 minutes. It was... <laughs> actual torture. It's like, please, I just need to know the legality. I don't want to go to jail. If I ever go back to the US, you can have your stupid passport. <laughs> don't even want it anymore. I love the saxophone. It doesn't need to be crunchy. <laughs> that sounds hideous. It's literally so bad. <laughs> the IRS just to mentally tortures people, I think. I have an omega-3 pill. You take whatever pills you gotta take. If you have a pill that you want to take, and just, I don't know, it's just me reminding you. I'm not here to judge you. Live your own life. Is your capitalism a moat still a 1k bit donation? Yes. And billion? Billion. Billion. Do you want to see my 5k emote? Me and Larara made it. It's not at all a surprising emote. It's, it's patriarchy. And I'll have you know that I took that screenshot from the time that you made a joke about logarithmic being wood-based, uh, wood -based, uh, wood based percussive instruments. That's what that screenshot's from. <laughs> um, it gives me PTSD from old school Xbox Live mics of kids playing music over them. <laughs> um, Ulrich, I was never on Xbox Live because uh, I think I think that was the era where if a, a person with a feminine voice shows up on Xbox Live, it's probably not great. Hi, go ahead, Zess. How you doing? How's life? Let me do the shout out. Do I have to 
to I have to be your dad to gain the patriarchy emote. Now, Billiam, I feel like that's a sentence I wanted to dissect with you in therapy. What does that mean? What does do I have to be your dad to gain the patriarchy emote mean? I'm I need to like have an essay explaining this sentence to me. Let me give quote this a shout out before I forget. <laughs> I'm gonna forget. Alright, shout out to Poetas, who is absolutely wonderful, uh, very cool to hang out with, um, is an oil painter on here on the Twitch, um, does the paintings in the oil, uh, is celebrating a birthday this week. What's your schedule this week, Poetas? What's your what's your life schedule this week? Tell me. Why are managers like you need to find someone to cover your shift? That's your job. I don't get paid eight fifty an hour to do your job in mine. Honestly, Tommy, a hundred percent based. A hundred percent based. I once got fired because I couldn't find someone to cover my shift, but they couldn't legally fire me for that for some reason. Um, they just never scheduled me again. <laughs> they just never scheduled me again, and I was like, all right, fine, screw you. Um, you want to know a very funny thing was that was a job I had. So the last time I visited the US, I was there because I, my sister was born. So I was helping out with the baby. So I was there during a summer in university. Um, and I was explaining that I was just like in Germany. So I will only be, oh yes. <laughs> Here is a bit towards William's adoption babies. <laughs> the adoption babies indeed. <laughs> Why are we adopting William? Wait, one second. Um, um, yes, when I interviewed for this job, uh, the guy who interviewed me told me that he really liked my German accent. That's the end of the story, is that I was told I have a very strong German accent and he liked it. And he had family from Germany, so he was like nice. And I was like, I don't speak German. <laughs> Maybe that's why he fired me, I don't know. My German accent wasn't cool enough. Anyway, most of the feminine voices I heard on Xbox Live were children calling my mother fat. That is an amazing sentence. Uh, I guess, like, obviously woman voices, then, I guess. Hyper-feminine voices. <laughs> Patriarch Dad, I need to give 1k for capitalism. I'm asking the criteria. Your therapist wouldn't be paid enough. Okay, this is weird now. It's an amazing series of uh, statements. Um, I guess so. You would have to give 1k for capitalism, and then 5k bits for patriarchy, which I made because I needed a bit for 5k, because Warlock is like really close to having given 5k bits, which is absolute insanity. So they can have a patriarchy emote now. 8.50 an hour, your boss is lucky you even bother to show up for all that, literally though. Like, like Tommy is right. Wendy's really knocking me off my grind. Ugh. It's so dumb though. Like, like I can't come to work. Aren't you in charge of scheduling shifts? Um, Corpse, thank you for the bit towards with William's adoption babies. <laughs> uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> Damn indeed. 5k bits in this economy, I know. It's like more like I have to make up in a vote now. And you know, as all my good ideas, they come when I'm in weird let out a stream. One, two. Um, stream, then work today, going for a meal with my parents tomorrow, stream and party with everyone on Wednesday, do some things on Thursday, stream Friday, celebrate another friend's birthday on Saturday, work Sunday. That is a wild week. Quintus, I got tired reading that. <laughs> Quite as exhausting. Um, well, I hope you have a lovely birth week and and all the celebrations be upon ye. But, uh, but how's everybody? I'm doing well. I do kind of need to pee. That's, that's really what's going on with me. <laughs> so I might need to do a BRB. Uh, but I want to finish this first. One, two, three, four, five. Um, doing well. Do you want to see what we did for the first two hours of the stream? Do you want to observe our, our actions for the first two hours of the stream? We made flashcards, but we didn't really glue them yet, so we're probably going to do that tomorrow. <laughs> we cut flashcards, is what we did. Um, it's, it's, it's all we can. It's, 
But see if we're gonna glue them, so it's like this. Boop. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I got sick of using scissors. Um, also exhausted, not even sure what's happening in the next hour. What do you mean? Oh, pie flashcards, I know. What do I miss language? There's no, there's no excuses. I have to put more of an effort in. And since stream is a place where people make me do things, um, you know, flashcards are good. One, two, one, two. I'm at work trying to resurrect a dead PC that was the last backed up in 2020. Oh god. No biggie though. That's a very important PC attached to lab equipment and could potentially stop production if I don't get it fixed. Good luck, unplug me. Have you tried have you tried turning it on and off again? Um good luck fixing that. Sounds really hard. What's that? I saw I saw a bug. 5k bits can pay for billions electrics for two days. I have absolutely no idea what your electric costs are. Maybe. Um one, two. I can count to two. I'm eating another muffin. Enjoy your muffin. I hope it's a good muffin. What kind do you have today? Um, I remember light and heat. That was nice. I've actually heard that from so many people. It makes me very sad. I have a friend in Berlin who's just like, I've been taking a lot more walks recently so that I could stay warm. And I'm like, my God, we are not having a good time. Hi, Sebastian. How you doing? Are you back to candles and a wood burner? <laughs> Kindle's up in price again. Oh, God. Uh, laughing to cope. <laughs> cope laughing is what it could be called. The hard drive is kaput, so I'm on poop creep without a paddle. Good luck. Unplug me. Best of luck. Um, I don't know how to fix hard drives. I did. I had the best of luck to you. Um, nothing like a muffin. I haven't had a muffin in so many years. I am very happy for Tommy though. Chocolate chip again. Nice. Enjoy. Enjoy the muffin. Uh, great, thanks. What are you up to today? How's your Monday going? It's funny because we'll all slowly die. William, are you okay? William, are you okay? I can... <laughs> I think I need to send William some hugs. <laughs> Let me just send you a couple hugs here. Uh, phew, I thought you were burning e-readers. Oh no. Yeah, Europe seems to be having a bit of a rough time. Oh, one, two. Speaking of Europe, this just reminded me. So these flashcards, <laughs> this is gonna sound very unrelated for a second, one second. These flashcards, are going to be used in a redeem I have where it's kind of like game showy, but I need punishments for when if if I fail. So um, if I do don't do like five, if I choose five and then I can't remember like how to write the character down or what the character means, I need a punishment from chat. What should it be? Any ideas? I was told to give a two minute speech about how great Europeans are by Lerato, but like. Is it like a dare? How can we organize this? Any ideas? I'm happy to hear, by the way. Um, I panicked there, Kindle. <laughs> um, no, something quick. I can't jump out the window. I live on the sixth floor. Uh, the only way to fix a hard drive is to place it on a desk, walk away to the far corner of the room, and cry about it. That's kind of- I had a hard drive that was unable to be fixed, and that was kind of my solution. I took it to so many places and everyone was like, this is screwed, and I just went, I just, I cried. <laughs> that was how I fixed it. Something quick, I would like that. Failed condition tune up for Leto, that's too often. <laughs> we can do once a week, but we can't do like once a day, because I don't think I'm very good at Chinese. Play a 300 year campaign on EU starting as Tonga, that might not be quick. But that might be fun. <laughs> just launch, launch Europa. It'll be fine, my computer definitely can handle OBS in Europa. Lurk away, Sazzles. Thanks for being here. Um, a speech on how the British helped. <laughs> Same thing. Um, bag on head. What? Okay, I'm, a, I'm gonna need further... I'm gonna need a further... 
<laughs> further um, knowledge of what bag on head means. Do I have to like do? I, have to, I could do like the. <laughs> I have to like do the billion space buttons one of these days. I'm excited. This is my May Fourth look. This is my Padme Amidala look. Um, jump out the fifth floor window. Uh, I don't know my fifth floor neighbors. Asphyxiation. I know Billiam's like, die. You suck at Chinese. You should just die then. I wish I could leave this like this. Do I like a thing? That's the punishment? Maybe a paper bag with a face? Billiam's really just like, Ophi, just go, just go die then. You suck it. I'm busy. There are hard drive recovery companies, but many times it's not worth the price and regular IT nerds might not want to fiddle with the bad drive because sometimes even turning on a busted drive might make it worse every time. Um, yeah, I've... I remember I was like, I really wanted it, I don't have it anymore, but the place I went to with the normal IT nerds, as you called it, they were like, nah. And I was so sad about it. Excellent. <laughs> I feel like I'm really, I'm really pushing like a, a French nobleman. Wait, I need to. I feel like I'm really pushing Marie Antoinette sort of style here. <laughs> it's excellent. Punishment one. Oh no, Tommy. Um, I'm not sure you can asphyxiate with a paper bag. I mean, previously, I think William was say the way billion phrased it was like a plastic bag it's cute though thank you it's me padme <laughs> just don't know anyone else who wears their hair this dumbly um don't be stop this it's too exciting what's too exciting i changed my hair <laughs> um not with that attitude I'm making some progress on my homework i had to share it congratulations um, I'm not making progress, so I'm glad somebody is. Someone around here is getting something done. Okay, back down here. You are making progress. Hair up plus choker is filth. William, are you okay? What does that mean? Do I need to take my hair down now? Fine. Fine. You are all so mean to me. I can't do anything in this stream. Without somebody telling me, without somebody telling me that it's something that a that a hot tub streamer does, y'all sexist. Y'all listen. <laughs> if I can't write on my arm without somebody telling me it's like what a jacuzzi streamer does, I can wear a choker. Are you Muslim? <laughs> Are you all secretly my uncles? Like is Billiam's real name Muhammad? What is going on here? The patriarchy, it really is. Y'all sexist. I need you to calm down, please. Uncle Billiam. I know. One of you is Ahmed, one of you is... What are my uncle's name? <laughs> We've got an Ahmed, and a Muhammad, and Abdullah. Is one of you Abdullah, who is a big Hamas supporter? Have <laughs> yourself shame. It has too much power. I, I am... All of you are like my super... Yeah, haram. Exactly. I feel like I'm back home and somebody's yelling haram at me outside like a car window. <laughs> yeah, it could be Bilal. Actually, Bilal is probably... Is William a religious name? Because if William's a religious name, I feel like Bilal might be the translation, but I'm not sure about that. Bilal's just like a really common Arabic name. One second, I have to Google this. Also, who's texting me? Oh, God damn. Going to the company dinner. I have- how are you the first person in this chat that has said the word pervert before? How is- how are you the first person in this chat? I am amazed. I am amazed. Um, my partner's going to a company dinner. I'm so sad and lonely and I forgot what I was doing. I was looking up William in Arabic. William. <laughs> okay. What is the meaning of- I think William is an English name. I don't think it's a religious name. I think it's- if it's not like a, uh, if it's not a, a, what is it called? Abrahamic name. Then I, it, does, it probably does have a translation. Ophi would hate my real name. Is it Thomas? <laughs> don't tell me your real name. Don't dox yourself. 
to keep it private, keep it secret, keep it safe. It's it's private information. I think it's Germanic, it's not in the Bible. Yeah, if it's not like a biblical name, then I don't know an Arabic translation. Thomas the Kami engine. <laughs> Dang it. Um, I still want to be a disapproving uncle, but clearly a pervert in private. Congratulations. Bilal is the Arabic name I thought it would be. Uh, don't tell me what to do. Fair. That's true. I am not the boss of you. Anglo-Saxon Wilhelm. Uh, life protector armor, just a king name. Who can shells and do fancy? It's Christian. That's a normal last name. <laughs> that is a very normal name. It's a very common name. Bilal el Babel. <laughs> Bilal el Babel. I can't even say it properly. Bilal el Babel. Babel? 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 Bl. Having a B and an L right after each other is a really, it's a hard sound to make. Bl. Bl. <laughs> I'm struggling. Um, what am I doing? Alright. I'm doing this. My dudes, my parents gave me an international name, but no second name. They thought it would be easier for me, but that's why I'm always asked to fill in my full name. And I'm like, yeah, that's it. See, Onion, I have the opposite. Because I was born in the US, I had to be given a middle name. Basically, you like, literally have to. Um, so I have a middle name, but everywhere else on Earth doesn't. So I have technically two first names by like a lot of standards. Uh, in Taiwan, I have two first names. Um, so sometimes it gets really confusing because the Americans will shorten it to like first name, middle initial, right? When they like send me official documents. And then the Taiwanese are like, why did they cut out your middle? Like, why did they cut out the second part of your name? And then I have to explain the logistics of a middle name. It's always very annoying. I wish I did not have a second name. Um, it would make life much, not, not much, but like a decently less bureaucracy, you know? Anything that removes me from bureaucracy. <laughs> Is Christian a Christian Christian name? I actually have no idea if that's true or not. Maybe. I want that name. That's my Lovecraftian ancient text name. Bilal al Babel. Bilal al Babel. I, I still struggle. It's too many Bs. My name literally means a follower of Christ. It was a shame when I lost my religion. Ah, that is a shame. I always wondered about, like, I always wondered about that for people who are given like very religious names how they feel if they grow up and like decide they don't want to be religious islam is a common name it's a boy's name uh in multum in muslim cultures uh my boxing teacher's name used to be islam <laughs> so i always wondered like what if what if he decides he doesn't want to be religious anymore i know a lot of muhammad's that um grew up and decided to be a religious or even atheist in some cases and they've had a a bit of a rough time adjusting to that anytime my anyone asks my dad why i only have one name he says he didn't have the money for another one that is a completely based answer i love it when people are called jesus jesus Isa. arabic it's Isa. very common name for christians as well to just be Isa. <laughs> Jesus, I don't, I'm surprised it's not common in English, I don't know, that's probably a cultural thing, that in English speaking cultures you don't name your son Jesus, but you do in Palestine, and you do in Spanish speaking cultures too. Ofi and Stitch, that's me. <laughs> I only know one, I only know Islam, I don't know who that is. <laughs> it is a pretty common name though. I know a bunch of Islams. Um, is this as far as I want to go? No, I want one more. One, one, two. Uh, there's a footballer called Jesus Emmanuel. I always thought that was a bit much. You don't like Jesus Emmanuel? Why not? Why not? What did he ever do to you? My Spanish teacher's name was Jesus, and we photoshopped him onto a painting of Jesus, and he thought it was a lot funnier than he was allowed to tell us he thought it was. <laughs> oh, it was a good time. Good times. Can't count to four. Skip one. Can't, can't do it. 
He's an MMA fighter from a very Muslim part of Russia. Is that Chechnya? I'm not opening that can of worms. Uh, skip one. Skip. I can't count to four. It's too difficult. It's too hard. Um, probably a reserved or Protestant thing. Like, we mustn't imitate the high and mighty. That might be it, actually. It might be a Protestant thing. That's, that's a very, very good point you make. Skip one. I wonder if that's a thing in Italian. Is Jane still here? Jane might not still be here, but if Jane's still here, is it an Italian name as well? Skip one. Skip. Do it, Ophi. Open the can and we all are enough to lurk. No, no, no. I actually don't know enough about Chechnyan politics. Um, <laughs> it's from Dagestan. Yeah, I don't know enough about Russian politics. If my partner was here, we could open the can of worms since he actually knows what he's talking about. <laughs> but I don't know what I'm talking about. My partner has ditched me for a company dinner. I'm definitely not hurt. I'm joking. I'm not hurt. He's, he's gotta go to... It's like a, you know, you know, East Asian culture where like half of meetings happen at dinner. I actually really need to use the bathroom, so I'm going to do a BRB. You can all hang out with Leto. I'll be back in like two minutes. I drank too much tea and coffee. Alright, here. Hang out with this thing, with this little thing right here. <laughs> Leto really went. <laughs> Leto really said face palm. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in like two seconds. One second, I'm trying to get her to look at the camera. Look, he's right here. Yeah. Do you like the camera? Do you like the camera? What <laughs> a good girl. Deep disappointment look. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Okay. Alright. I have a... Kisleto. Thank you for being patient. I just really had to be. Um, studio artifacts says kisser. What? Kissed. Uh, I want to eat this cat. Me too. Mad Max. Every single time. I'm just like, I want to eat you. You are so cute. <laughs> you are so cute. I want to eat you. Learn Mandarin. Let's. Have to na question meow. 
Um, beautiful. Thank you very much for for the bit. Has Funa a question now? She's too sleepy. She's a, she's a little bit too tired. Her tail says yes, but her face says no. She's too sleepy. Learn Mandarin. We're gonna use this because this is the one flash card we made today, and I'm so happy about it. It's when, 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 <laughs> when, which is language literature. Very good. Also, hi, Mad Max. Can I eat it, please? No, I want to eat her. She's too cute. I'm so glad somebody else says that because I always am just like. I'm always like, I want to eat her, but like, it's because she's cute. Kiss Leto. She's been kissed again. <laughs> when? No. Yeah, when? When is the thing? And it's language, literature. It's this character. I, once we make all of them, we will get so fancy with the Lord Mandarin, but thank you very much for the redeem. Um, Tommy? Why is this song not showing up? Song? There we go. I'm just making sure it's playing. I'm silently lurking, but I wanted to say your hair looks amazing too. <laughs> thank you, Jin Lisa. <laughs> um, I was joking that I was gonna look like uh, Padme Amidala from Star Wars, and this is how it ended up. I have two bobby pins on the top of my head. <laughs> but thank you for being here, Jin Lisa. Naming cats on livestream is definitely against her. Huh? Terms of service. How dare you? I'll eat my cat if I want to. If she was more awake, I would give her like a bite, but she's too tired. See, Ophi, hair up is miraculous. What? You want me to have my hair up all the time? We can do it. We can just. It's giving. It's giving Marie Antoinette. I'm very into it. It's giving French loyalty. Royalty. Um, I just need like a boat. Can we, can we get a boat installed in my head? Us as humans, this creature is so friendly and visually pleasing, I want to consume the flesh of it. I want to eat her. She's just so cute. I also say that with babies, still. <laughs> I want to eat the baby. It is so cute. <laughs> uh, the bit hanging down was cool, too. Here. Don't worry, it's gonna fall off again anyway. I'm literally just accelerating. Here we go. This is my new- oh god, I've made it worse. This is my new look. <laughs> Where? It's- it's- coming apart. This is my new look. I like to call it space, um, space opera. I like to call it space opera. There we go. It's, I'm so distracted from cross stitching. Um, I think I also missed some messages. Probably not. It's fine. The haystack looks perfect. Thank you! I actually don't know anything about like fashion terms, so you guys can tell me that it's whatever, and I will believe you. One, two. Kiss Leto on her little head, but she doesn't want to be kissed. Kissy kissy. Kisses? Mm -hmm. The baby kisses. Is the baby kisses with the little toes? Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> I love spoiling the kids. The, the kids, the babies. <laughs> I just touched it the, everywhere on the face. I googled the amount of protein in a baby, they ain't giving me an answer. Um, I'm very happy that Google's not giving you an answer. Uh, I just, I always see, like, especially chubby babies. God, do I love chubby babies. They're so cute. I do not want one. I, I'm not. I'm not prepared for such chubby babies to be my responsibility. But every time I'm out and about and I see a chubby baby, I'm like, I want to eat you. <laughs> you are so cute. Uh, are you like a crazy person? I'm quite literally sure they will say so. Be for Vendetta. That has. Listen, I've never seen that movie, but I know it has Padme in it. Somebody also recently made art. And then I would just- I always forget her name is Natalie Portman. I just call her Padme. <laughs> so every time I see her, I'm just like, it's Padme. You better watch it. Why- I'm gonna get in line. There's so many movies I'm supposed to watch. But why specifically do you say I better watch it? Padman? Padman. Why- why specifically this movie? Must I watch? Is it because they blow up the British Parliament? 
Listen, I'm gonna get in trouble if you start making me watch movies like that. Ending this is fine. Alright. See, I vaguely know things just from like cultural consciousness. I was on Nine Gag as a young teenager and the amount of reverence Nine Gag had for the V for Vendetta guy is uh, too high. Too high, you could say. I could comfortably call it too high. V for Vendetta is my favorite movie, even better than Morbius. That is, okay, listen, Onion, I know you're trying to get me to watch this movie, but telling me that you like it more than you like Morbius isn't really encouraging, I must say. I don't feel super encouraged. <laughs> Stop, alright? There we go. Is it weird that I want a kid, but I know I'm not gonna have one yet, but I want one? I mean, I don't think so. I don't think that's odd. I think that's perfectly understandable to be like, at some point in life, I would like to have children. I think it's a good thing to know as well. <laughs> Um, especially, you know, when looking for long-term partners to know, like, your compatibility and all that. It's probably a good thing to talk about. Kids are cool. That is true. Onion has a kid. And Onion's kid seems very cool. Seems very, very cool. I, I don't know how many people here have children. Many, many people here have children. I do not. My children is the cat. And that's already, I, listen, I know myself, I know the amount of responsibility I can handle. <laughs> the, ch the cat is as far as I'm getting. Absolutely love every time one of my closest friends who has uh, a child um, talks to me about her kid. Because I'm just like, ah, my cat's like that. And then she's like, shut up. And I'm like, okay. I can't see the happy birthday regime. Yeah, I turned it off. I got a little bit sick of it. But if you want to play it for Poitas, I'm fine with that. His birthday is in two days. Um, unless it's somebody else's birthday. But yeah, I got a little bit sick of it. I was like, yeah, we'll get back to it. <laughs> I'll turn it on eventually. Um, 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 uh, the playlist finished. Ghost vibes. Little five for ghosts only. Hello, lo-fi for ghosts only. Um, I can't play you on stream, though. How rude. <laughs> okay, we'll go with this one, then. I don't care, I want one. I mean, like I said, it's, it's so good. Yay, an actual birthday. Sure, sure. Uh, we can play it for Koetas if you'd like. That's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, even though it is not an actual birthday, it is still his birthday in two days. You can't just turn things off. I can do whatever the hell I want, Billy. <laughs> it's at my stream. My birthday next month. Oh, Tommy, you can join in the birthday celebration, which I actually need to stop talking about and actually organize. Um, I need to actually get myself together and organize the birthday thing I keep talking about. Let's go on. You can save it for Wednesday. Should we go back offline? Are we saving it for Wednesday? What are we doing for the coetas? For the, the co of te as. No coetas. Alright. <laughs> we decide. I don't know, it's like one to one right now. Same. Everybody birthday next month. Party birthday. December party time. Uh, it's one to one. I don't know. Somebody gonna say yes or no? Okay. I'm staying out of this. Two further. Two. If somebody, if nobody else speaks up, we're at a tie. We're at a stalemate. And we're not going to do it because that's the default. We default to no because that makes sense. It's okay if everyone really hates the high quality content. Gotta do more research today for the Secret Santa. Stalking my target from Switch chat history. I absolutely love that. A lot of people are doing that. I actually have to do that too. We will all... Wait, from Twitch chat history? Oh, because you're a mod. Oh, I'm doing it from Discord history. Like, I can't be bothered to go through Twitch chat history. We full of Sagittarius's, indeed. I'm also going to the shower now, so if you do it, I won't hear. I'm glad to know, Koetas, you're not taking the stream into the shower with you. See ya! <laughs> I will be here. Um, and yes, 
many, many December birthdays. All the babies of December. Tim Cortez. William's been outmaneuvered. <laughs> Don't worry, William. Don't you worry, William. Has Cortez left yet? Did Cortez leave yet? I want to I wanna say things. I want to talk about Cortez. I can't do that if he's still here. I need him to leave and then we can talk about it. Um, you don't watch streams in the shower? Cringe. I don't have a waterproof laptop. Uh, okay, excellent. But like, wait. <laughs> now I'm confused. I don't know how your guys' showers work because in Taiwan, there's no shower curtain. It's just kind of like there, right? Like you don't really like, you don't really like, um, differentiate. <laughs> There's, there's not really a differentiation between like the, the toilet zone and the shower zone. It's just kind of like the same room. Like, just everything gets wet whenever you take a shower. I don't know how it works where you guys are. So yeah, there's no there's no taking things anywhere. Um, my Santee still hasn't posted anywhere I've seen. I'm a bit lost as to what to do. Uh, is it? Okay, Andrew. Is their name on Discord the same as their name on Twitch? Do you know that? Do you know? Because I know there's a couple people whose names might be a little different. If you're really having a hard time, we'll see if they reply to anything. If they're really having a hard time, I could probably help you out. <laughs> um, can I shower while pooping? I mean, maybe. It sounds kind of messy, just like in general. So the logistics of that sound awful. Where do people get mold from without shower curtains? What? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm so confused. You can, but shouldn't. I know. You can, and nobody will judge you but God. Uh, but you gotta clean that bathroom. It's a whole experience. It makes cleaning the bathroom easier, though. Like, less crevices, you know? Just kind of go for the whole thing. Less things for dirt to hide behind. You mean you don't have to check behind the shower curtain for murders every time we list enter the bathroom? No. Um, although I remember doing that when I was younger in places that had a shower curtain. Um, in Palestine, uh, we had a shower curtain that I would just kind of leave open because I didn't. I was too spooked. I was too spooked. What if there was someone behind it? Why would you even close the shower curtains? Um... But yeah, no, there isn't one. My bathroom is maybe this wide and like my wingspan wide and then like maybe my wingspan and then one more arm long. Does that help? I don't know how good of a description that is. How many lettos can I fit in my bathroom? Not many because I do have to give her a bath in there sometimes. And let me tell you, I wish it was bigger. <laughs> Also, you don't have artsy curtains, that's a minus. We need leto curtains. <laughs> oh, you mean like these? This one? The wood? Listen, I just live here, okay? I'm not redecorating this whole place. <laughs> the only decoration hanging in this house is that. <laughs> I'm incredibly lazy. <laughs> I cannot be bothered. Can you imagine? If I lived here for longer, but we might move soon, so like, I don't want to like decorate the whole place. Onion, you want to hear something really embarrassing? I haven't finished painting the walls. So if you go outside, the ceiling is like 75% done and there's like half of one wall that hasn't been painted. So I also just, I cannot. We ran out of paint and then I ran out of energy and it's been like that for like a year and a half. I cannot be bothered. It's, I'm too lazy. Nobody comes over anyway. <laughs> No silly shower curtains with Leto's face on it. Mm, do you think that would calm her down? Do you think that would help uh, with the the chilling out whenever I have to give her a bath? She's usually chill now, especially if my partner like stands outside because then she's instead of like trying to escape by freaking out, she just like yells sad sounds to my partner to come save her. <laughs> If he comes inside, then she starts scratching because she's just like, I must escape the water. It is wet. I must run. <laughs> um, but if he's outside, she just like, while I give her a bath, she's just like, help. Help me. <laughs> Father. <laughs> uh, 
it's okay. I haven't taken out Christmas lights from my balcony for three years. That's a mood and a half. I don't have Christmas lights. Um, but it's actually kind of amazing that they've lasted so long. It's like freezing, freezing in Finland. <laughs> She's attacking me again, literally. I am being made wet. It is a, it is a crime against cat kind. Kitties everywhere. Must, must, uh, riot. <laughs> We have literally not done the one thing I said I wanted to do today, but that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> beep beep. Oh, did you hear the beep beep? I can't help. I live in a big city. I am just happy I don't live on one of the two main roads that I live really close to. Both of them are way too loud, especially with the... Like, the really, really loud fancy cars people love revving constantly all the time all the time with the revving of the cars always i don't know why we can't chill out um it's, it's just how it is just how it is <laughs> let's see so i think what we're going to do by the way is just kind of put this string on tie it on and then we might call it a day Do I need three? Skip one, skip two, skip three. Oh, me. I had so many plans this morning. I'm dressed, but somehow back on my bed with my iPad. That is such a mood for <laughs> you. Oh, Billiam, do I get that? I do that so often as well. I'm just like, all right, I'm all ready. And then I'm just like, no. LOL, JK. William, I'm still trying to figure out the Tumblr thing. Um, Magikarp is trying to tell me to go back to Twitter, but like, I, I already told them. I already know all about the Tumblr culture. So that's been me for like the past couple days. It's just like, what is this website? How does it work? What do the buttons do? I don't get it. Just up for some personal time. I tried clear see through shower curtains sometimes. Somehow I felt even more unsafe from murderers. Was it just that one movie that had a murderer in black and white behind a shower curtain and that's why everybody is like that now? Twumbler. 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 Yeah. That's me. I gotta figure it out. Get figured out. I'm gonna become Tumblr famous. That's my plan. That is definitely an attainable and real goal. Psycho. That one movie. What do you mean that one movie? That one movie with the awful director, the guy that's like literally evil. That guy. <laughs> the guy that, and this is I'm pretty sure a true story, uh, gave somebody an alcohol laced with laxatives, handcuffed him to a camera rig all night, and then left for 12 hours. <laughs> that guy. The really, really evil guy. <laughs> William, what are you wearing? That's between you and Onion. My self-respect. I feel no need to watch or comment on any of his movies. Anybody who uh, sucks that badly is someone I'm kind of uncomfortable observing the art of. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five. Yeah, that... <laughs> Hearing a very detailed account of that story kind of makes it stick in your head. <laughs> um, check your Discord. Oh god. Hi. Hi. I know you. I know you. What'd you do? Is it just that you're going to a company dinner? I never replied to you. Okay, happy bee. <laughs> do you need me to call you? Happy bee. Happy bee. Did you leave? Are you at company dinner? Did you leave? Are you still here? Through a change of plans, I have to leave right now. Oh, did you not get off of the... Uh, did you not get off of work? Hey, do you like my hair? Did you leave? <laughs> I laughed at the Saw movies. I don't like gore. I'm not into gore. Gore is weird and gross. <laughs> okay, yeah, so... One second. Yeah. 
Yeah, he left. My partner comes into the stream to tell me to look at Discord and leaves. <laughs> Bye, Habibi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or he comes into the stream to tell me yalla and then leaves. Um, through a change of plan, I don't have a ride to school, I gotta run to the bus a mile away. Oh, Tommy, good luck. Well, thank you so much for dropping by. I'm probably gonna end stream soon anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm probably gonna end stream soon anyway, because I gotta figure out life. And uh, that'll, that's, that's all. <laughs> Get bossed around by my mods. <laughs> Onion and pills good, Toad's not here. Oh, my mod's so bossy. Feels good as your partner, you can whisper him directly. He's on, um, I I renamed him on Discord to Pillsgood parentheses Mr. Ofi to prevent confusion as to why he's in charge of a lot of things. <laughs> it's just like a dude, uh, just like a random dude. Yeah, you can whisper him, you can DM him. He's got a picture of Leto uh, with my poncho on as his, uh, as his profile picture on discord it's really cute it's one of the best pictures of letter i'm not bossy yeah onions never bossed me around in his entire life why is why is pills good being so nice to me what did he do why is he in trouble <laughs> um let's go play solitaire new game Onion has been following for six months, two weeks, two days. Why do I not feel like that's true? So glad we can now call your care. Yeah, if anything happens to me, just tell Pills he's in charge. He knows. He knows things. It sounds like a him problem. <laughs> I love saying things are a him problem. It's it's a wonderful phrase. Yeah, so you know how to call me, beep me if you want to reach me. But if you don't want to reach me, talk to my partner. He's, he's on the Discord, he's on the Twitch, he's around. Actually, he like barely uses either one of those platforms. <laughs> he doesn't use any social media, he's just like on Reddit, that's it. And he doesn't even comment anything on Reddit, he just like hangs out. <laughs> that's, that's the entirety of my partner's social media presence. The complete list. Um... Anjan, why do I always feel like you've followed for longer than that? Why am I all- did you unfollow me and refollow me at some point? As like a joke? I always get confused. Because you're one of my founders. But Pink Lemonade's been following me for longer, so I don't really get how it works. Maybe I just don't understand it. No, I don't think I have refollowed, huh? I'm just, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how things work. Okay, wait. Wait, did we lose already? Because that was like really fast. That was, that was whiplashy fast for how fast we lost. Um, I mean, can go here. No, not yet, not yet. There is hope yet. That scares me. No social media equals teacher of police. <laughs> That's offensive. How dare you? You think my partner would be a cop? <laughs> William. William, I'm personally offended. Personally. Um, he's also not a teacher. He's just a programmer. He's just a dude. Just a programmer dude. You know how the programmer dudes are. And I think I lost. I think I lost. I think. I believe that I lost. FBI yeah, opened up. Is that what the programmer said? Like, FBI open up? Oh god, what did I do? Oh dear god. Oh dear god. Black7 onto Red8. Oh, you're a genius. I've- I just messed something up in OBS. I'm panicking. <laughs> something in OBS just got messed up. I don't know what happened. Let's see. Okay, sadly, that didn't seem to help us much. Alas. Alas. That didn't seem to help us much. Why are my solitaires cursed? I have no idea. OBS, please work with me here. <laughs> okay, it didn't help, but thank you for trying because I didn't see that at all. I, I appreciate it. Come back. Why is OBS so scary? Why do you misclick once and it's just like, oh, so you didn't want to see uh, your scenes anymore? That's cool. You don't have to see your scenes anymore. <laughs> Good God, don't worry about it. <laughs> well, thank you, Onion. 
thought we might as well finish the pocket so we're already here we're already here we're already partying uh the place i need to order food from is probably open for a little bit longer actually let me check that first because i might have three minutes to open to order food or i might have like an hour <laughs> give me a second it is it is really uh, questionable because Google Solitaire is the meanest of solitaire. It really is. It really is. No, not YouTube.Uber. Uber.Keats. <laughs> um, but Google Solitaire hard mode is just absolutely cursed. God damn it. Always with the log in this. Do this, that. Where is the place I want? Watch them not be open. <sighs> Big sigh. Excuse me while I just Google things. I would do this on stream, but I kind of, my address is like on the thing. I would prefer if you did not see my address. Just, just a preference of mine. Okay, cool. No, I have time. Excellent. Just a mild preference to not dox myself. Even if it's in Chinese, it's probably better to not. Too many people here know Chinese. Definitely better than I do. I don't even see that's kind of my fear sometimes of taking like pictures of random things is sometimes I fear the Chinese reveals more than I know. I accidentally dox myself much harder than I already thought I did. Here. One, one, two. So here we go. We'll just do a couple more stitches and then we'll call it a day. Is anybody online? I haven't checked. Let's let's look at the interwebs. Let's see if anybody be online yet. Ooh. And we mute. And we come here. Confused why Kung is online. He's probably not gonna be online for long. Probably just started late. Interesting. I guess all the people I know who are online are gonna end stream soon. Dormar! Dormar, thank you so much for gifting three subs. Wait, I have I have I have it, I have it open, I have it open, I have it open. Thank you so much for the gifting of three subs. Um, that is so nice of you. Thank you for the sub to One True Lizard, Lifo, and Ilta, who are all very lovely. Um, I appreciate it. At the end of stream, well, actually, Dormar, nobody's online, so we might just go for a little bit longer until, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's finish this pocket. How are you doing? How's life? How's it going? Yeah. People might come online soon. That we could read. Um, I have, I've got like 15 minutes before I gotta figure out my food situation. <laughs> um, but how are you? How are your meetings in your morning? Ilta means night in Finnish. I think Ilta's American. She's one of my Twitter mutuals. <laughs> She's lovely. She she makes amazing pixel art. Everyone go check out. She also streams, I think. Um, not awake enough for anything anymore. Sapphire, have you? Did you at least get to sleep a little bit? I hope. Did you sleep a little bit? Uh, I'm so glad Larry the Lizard got a sub gift. Larry the Lizard is something. He's moved on to greener pastures, we could say. I went to sleep only to be woken up two hours later. I hope I had nothing to do with the waking up of you. Was it the baby? Was it Minerva? Did she wake you up? Was it the baby? Um, I don't think you missed anything except for procrastination. A, a lot of that. A, a lot of procrastination. And just we, we, we did some things. Minerva had a dirty diaper. Oh, sapphire. Oh, that's really unfortunate. One of these days you'll get to sleep. One of these days. Do you have to put her back to bed now? Hug! Yes, all the hugs. <laughs> Welcome back, Sazzles. I 
you never know who knows each other in this chat. Every once in a while, some of you that I did not think knew each other are just like, what's up? It's very cute. <laughs> I don't stop fire from another stream. Nice. Well, excellent. I know no one, but I love you all. We all know you, Dormar. Dormar, we all know you. How could you? How dare you? Now, if you go into a different stream, you could know some of these lovely people. <laughs> um, the question is which stream? Because I'm not awake enough or caffeinated enough for anything. Are you gonna go back to bed, Sapphire? I feel like me. Maybe you should? I don't know what time it is, but it seems early. Okay, no, I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna pretend I know what I'm doing. It's not so wiki Is it because she just did a little turnaround? Did you think somebody just turned around and looked at it? Here she is. How is that? Three kisses? <laughs> She's a sleepy baby. Let's like, let's look at her cheeks. Look at those cheeks. Look at these cheeks. Look at how big it is. Look at the cheeks. Look at it. <laughs> Look at the cheeks. They're so big and fluffy. They're so big and so fluffy. And they like the scratches. And she's so sleepy, but she still likes all the scratches. Voice is so nice. Isn't it so nice, baby? Look at the girl with your big fluffy cheeks. Oh, that was one more kiss, right? <laughs> I love the big fluffy cheeks. <laughs> um, she's just she's a sleepy baby. See, I got an easy baby. If she cries, she's really easy to like shut up. Um, that it looks like how I feel, mom. Stop. I love the slow tail whipping. She likes pets. She enjoys the pets. She can always leave. <laughs> if she gets actually very annoyed, she just runs away, but she's just sleepy. She's just sleepy. A very slow tail whipping, a very slow uh, enjoyment of pets. Yeah, she is. She is tired. She had a full busy night of um, bothering me. She had a full busy night of waking me up. Uh, she seemed to enjoy the scratches quite a lot, right? She likes the scratches. She likes the pets. She's, she's a cute baby who enjoys scratches and pets and all sorts of other things. It is fun to mess with Minerva. What do you do? How do you mess with her? Do you like scratch her nose? In in one second, cat hair on my mouth. Okay. <laughs> one of the things we do in Palestine for babies, it's a very specific sound we make. We like do this to the lip, like the the. the I don't know how to call this. What do you call this? Do you have a word for this in English? <laughs> you do that to the baby, and you go. <laughs> do the. <laughs> It's, it's what you do to babies in Palestine. <laughs> it's a very specific noise. I don't know why. I think that's the noise that babies make in Arabic. <laughs> it's like a, a... I think it's like a, a babble. <laughs> I think that's the correct word for it in English, right? What sounds do babies make in English? Do they babble? Do they... Do they... What do they do? They babble. So yeah, in Arabic they go <laughs> It's the, the automatopoeia for it. So. <laughs> yeah, it's babbling in Arabic. <laughs> yeah, it's a very specific... You're also supposed to do the thing on the lip. Um, that's just like how you play with babies. It looked like you had a knot in one of the previous stitches. Either you undid it on the fly expertly or it was a trick of perspective. I think it was a trick of perspective. I'm not that good at undoing knots. Me and knots are not friends. Uh, at least I have to cut out less of them now than I used to. 
which is all I can think of. I guess that's one, but like, do people really do that? Do people actually say that to babies? I thought that was like an old timey thing. Uh, I held the bottle within reach, and when she opened her mouth to try to put it in her mouth, I had to let go. So she looked at me, then tried pulling harder, and then when that didn't work, she tried harder. So then she scrunched up her nose and gave me her best grr face before pulling so hard, she pulled herself up and then put her mouth on the bottle and smiled like she wanted something good for her. What a sense of achievement you're giving this baby, Sapphire. What a sense of accomplishment. Really drilling in the, the hard work <laughs> from an early age. Um, that is adorable. She's an achiever. She is an achiever. What am I doing? All right. Oh, that baby's going places. That place is where all the bottles are. That's where she's going. I like the determination. I know, I can like, I can imagine the determination. Old timey thing? Yes, it's been a while since I've been allowed near mothers and babies. I don't know, that's like a thing I see in like, um, Tom and Jerry, um, which is from the 40s. So I, I don't know if it's a real thing people do. I have no idea. There was one time when she actually growled at me like one of the cats before biting my finger and making me let go. Is your baby feral? Because it sounds a little bit like your baby might be feral. <laughs> there might be a BuzzFeed quiz out there called Is My Baby Feral? You know, I'm like 80% sure that's a BuzzFeed quiz. Is your baby a cat in disguise? These are excellent questions to be asking. The real questions we gotta ask. Is the baby a cat? Is the baby feral? Oh. Is the baby okay? It's too loud. Right. Let me see. Hmm. Let me put this here. And then... Nope, she took after her dad. His mom still has the original desk he sat at growing up and there are teeth marks in it from him biting it. That is adorable. <laughs> the big questions here on OP Talk. I know. I should start making BuzzFeed quizzes. <laughs> My true calling in life is to make BuzzFeed quizzes that insult me. I have to skedaddle, see you guys next time. Thank you so much for hanging out, Onion. Yeah, I'm gonna skedaddle soon too. Um, nobody has come online, uh, so we're gonna look around for someone to raid. One, two, just give me a moment. I need to put this string somewhere. One, two, one, two. Most important question of them all, am I pregnante? <laughs> am I pregnante? Am I pregnante? Am I pregnante? Oh, hi! Hello there! <laughs> What's up, frame into focus? How you doing? I'd stream, but all my stuff is packed up. Yeah, fair. Fair enough. What do you usually stream, Sapphire? Okay, let's see if we can look for anything. General Kenobi? Oh, I don't think I have those emotes anymore. Do I have those emotes anymore? I do. I have Amish's aces, Amish aces of oats, which include this. <laughs> Hello there. Um, I gotta go in four minutes as well. Yet another meeting. Don't you worry. Let's try to let's try to read someone. Frame to focus. I'm so sorry that you've come at the end of stream. Uh, I, I deeply apologize. <laughs> We're just looking for someone to raid real quick, which might be Pantoufles, but they're doing art, and I kind of. Does anybody know anyone in Makers and Crafting that we could read? How do you know Amish? Amish is one of my founding members. Sazzles. Sazzles, it's on the banner. <laughs> I love your username. It is a very good username. No, this always happens. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I gotta go order food before the place closes. Pants a good choice. I know. Pants gonna be our, our what we fall back on. Um, but just because pan's an art, and I kind of prefer people in makers and crafting, but if, if nobody knows anyone in makers and crafting who doesn't end stream soon, frame into focus! <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. I hope to see you in the future. I stream the next three days this week, so maybe, maybe, maybe soon. <laughs> um, is, uh, is, 
and how it works. Amish is why I'm here, it's his fault. Yes, Amish Ace is lovely. Everyone knows everyone. Amish Ace is literally one of my founding members. <laughs> He's awesome. Uh, and also, yeah, Amish is who dragged Andrew here. A few people have been brought here by uh, Amish Ace. But yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for the follow frame into focus. Let's call it. I know people have got places to be. Um, if you have to leave earlier, don't you worry about it. Um, just look it around. But yeah, I think both Crisco and Kung Bean are gonna end their stream soon, so we're gonna go for Pantoofles, I think. Only got people I don't really know. Let's do Pantoofles. She hasn't been on that long, and also her thing looks so cool. Okay, this is- it looks amazing. <laughs> um, so, but thank you so much everybody for being here. Um, like I said, I stream tomorrow, after tomorrow, after, after tomorrow. I'm here all the time. You know where to find me. <laughs> I'm easy to find. Uh, clay, cross stitch, crochet, art, woodwork, stone carving, 3D printing, 3D modeling, programming, and games. My god, I stick to just this. This is what I do. And then sometimes other shenanigans, but like this is generally what I do. Uh, Brett is lovely. I'm going to assume that's Amish's ace's name and I don't really know what it is. <laughs> Ophius imprisoned by Twitch. I know I can't. I can never leave. Um, okay, what is my- what is the thing? Okay, so we have a Discord. Discord. If anybody who is in it wants to join, it's mainly used for memes, honestly, but it's allegedly a crafty Discord. <laughs> Literally, I've never seen a Discord that's for arts and crafts that's mostly used for random memes, but like, that's what this one is. Um, I have a Kofi. If anybody is interested in some free patterns, you can get that over on my Kofi. And I have... Um, my Twitter and my Instagram here. I'm staying on that dying ship until I get kicked off of it. <laughs> so if you want some pixel art, because I am a pixel artist mainly, um, that is where you can find that. Oh god, Pantoufles is really hard to write. Pantoufles, how do you write your name? Copy. Based. So we are rating Pantoufles Art, who is a beautiful, like, um, I don't remember what it's called. Dot? Dot artist? Dot artist. It's she's working on like I don't know roses, a, a chalice. I feel like I only know that word in one context, and it's not a good context. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna say it's a cup, a fancy cup. Um, here's our one raid message. Here's the other one. And point to up. Yes, thank you. And thank you guys so much for being here. I will see you maybe tomorrow, maybe another time. Um, appreciate you all <laughs> very much. And let's let's go see what she's up to. Um, let me let me see what this people up here. Okay. While we look at the big the big cheeked baby. So thank you so much to Billiam, Sazzles, Chubsy. Uh, Sapphire, Andrew, Frame into Focus, Dormar, um, Onion, anybody I'm missing. Uh, thank you guys all for being here. I know she's so round. <laughs> and let's go see what Pantoufles is up there. Oh, also, Kittosaurus. Say bye. Bye bye.